What's up? Dude, I, I'm so sad there's no coffee stream today. <sighs> I need my coffee. I don't have my caffeine. Yo. Moment very pog. Let's go, buds. Oh my goodness, we got some catching up to do. One way theory, what's good? And we got kill switch in town. Let's go, bud. Zekin wants a 910, dude. I'm actually, I haven't seen this board in person yet. I've only seen like elusive online pictures, so I'm pretty excited. Big Chicky Nuggy hit me with the C's seven or zero viewers. Okay, bud. What up, newbie? Hello, Mr. Little Stacks. During the Nerd Nest stream, I redeemed some alcohol. Did you, did you day drink for me? No, I was saving it for the stream. I will go get that. I'm excited to see it built moment is gonna be lit. I agree, I agree. Dude, the, literally the derivative has not left my desk since I built it. Shwang will run the in-stock sale at some point according to Yuxi. Yeah. Is that gonna be um, available for the US as well? We got Draction, Draction with the two month prime. Let's go bud. Dude, I changed my uh, I changed my camera angle like slightly. I made it a little bit more concise so you guys can see more of my desk. You'll have to let me know if, if you like that or not. What up, Tiki types? And we got Quinn in the building. Dude, I feel I feel like I need my caffeine. I don't have coffee. So I'm like trying to chug a Red Bull right now. Uh, and, and it's it's hitting a little different. We got Terok with the tier one for 16 months. Yo, what's good, dude? Pretty hype build tonight. Pretty hype build indeed. And we got one lap down with the tier one for 18 months. Yo, what up, Brando? Yeah, that's what he said in KB Customs the other day. Nice, dude. I, I would assume it's gonna be like super limited, huh? I'm excited for my nerd nest. Hopefully I win some lats today. Did you guys all join the, uh, the Valentine's Day? Is it the Valentine's Day or Valentine's lat? Uh, I joined, I haven't joined a lat raffle in a while and I just joined that one. Congrats on the one year anniversary, right? Yo, dude, I was going to make another post about that because I like, I posted, I'm streaming and then I posted one year anniversary. But, uh, what happened was, um, the one year anniversary was actually a couple days ago, but my present got delayed, uh, as with every friggin' delivery these days and uh it arrived today so today is not the anniversary just i gave her the present today so that was that was fine <laughs> so i'm not gonna get in trouble streaming tonight what is a shuangmu <laughs> he's a legendary mythical creature yo level one hype train let's go birthday luck gonna pull through for this valentine lat dude gazo what's your number one pick on that one Ryan trying to gatekeep? <laughs> no, never. Uh, actually, this dust mat was ran by Shangmu. Everyone always asks me about this dust mat. And you know the guy? Mr. Shangmu. Thanks for getting the nest out, by the way. Can't wait. Dude, I got a bunch of stories for you guys tonight. Um, some nest updates. Uh, I got an unboxing to do. I'll show you guys the Kaza FR4 plate. Um, what else? Popcorn gave me some little presents I can show on stream as well. Uh, and then we're going to build the board. So that's kind of the schedule for tonight. Prismal escape the pink one. Yes. I feel like there haven't been too many, um, pink lat, like, like straight up pink lats, uh, in a while. So that was kind of cool. <sighs> Which lat did you enter for? I entered for the, um, the pink arrows and I entered for the pink escape. I forgot the names. Build a board? I know, right? What is this? I I think that the last stream was like the first stream I've done without building a board. Yo, what up? What up, Gerald? Let's go, bud. Dude, I owe two alcohol redemptions. Did I miss the unboxing? You sure did not. You sure did not. The bro mat came in for me? Dude, where is my bro mat? I see everyone getting theirs. I can't remember if I ordered one or I, I want to say I got one of each. Hype Yo, what up, Xing Xing? Hype train, let's go. Why is it? It says 100% level one. Why isn't it going to level two then? Hello, Govna. Yo, what up, Microdose? I'm new to the mini world, so slightly I'm excited. The mini world? What's the mini world? Still waiting on mine as well? Okay. Okay, all right. I just saw everyone getting theirs and I'm like, 
dude, where's mine? But if you guys haven't got yours yet either, then I'll, I'll be patient. Is the Lapis Blue NRD nest gonna be for sale? I'll talk about that a little bit because, um, long story short, I'll go into more detail, but um, this was actually kind of like, uh, ended up being more of like a sample color. Um, I don't know if we're gonna run it. If you guys like think it's like the sickest blue ever, then, then maybe we'll try and make it happen. But I only have like less than 10 of these blue ones. I think it's more like five or six. Um, so yeah, we'll see. If you guys like it, maybe we can, maybe we'll add it to a drop. My nest is already here and populated. Dude, yeah, we uh, we went pretty freaking ham on getting those shipped out. I just got mine, it was like three weeks ago, okay. Missed out on Crimson, so hopefully I can get one next time. Dude, I'll tell you guys what, um, the Crimson was actually, of the aluminum ones, the Crimson was the most limited. That was the one we had the least of. So a lot of, I do know a lot of people wanted Crimson and it sold out super fast. Um, so we're gonna definitely try and get, we'll, we'll definitely rerun the Crimson for sure. Hey Ryan, would you lightly lube GAT CJs or leave them stock? I would 100% lube GAT CJs. They're, they are already super smooth. GAT CJs are super smooth, but um, I, I personally just hate the stock, the, hate the sound of stock switches. I hate that like plasticky, like hollowy poppy sound. Um, so even if a, a switch is like ridiculously smooth, like an alpaca or something like that, I, I still lube it. Uh, more for sound. Did you see Cherry teasing the Nixies on their social? I didn't. Are they really? I swear I waited a year to grab a nest, then whiffed, dude. Um, that's what I was trying to tell everyone um, is that uh, we are going to try and uh, run these nests on a consistent basis, but we want to keep it interesting in a sense that we want to run different colors for every drop, right? Hey, lol stacks, I'm mobile, right? Did you seriously just call me, Justin, did you seriously call me lol space stacks? Hey, lol, space Dax. I'm mobile right now, so I don't have sound. So don't say anything cool till I'm back. I can't hear. All right. Well, then you can't, <laughs> then you're, you didn't just hear me diss you. <laughs> Yo, what's good? Is that GMK slots? This is GMK slot machine based off of the slots at the Win Casino in Vegas. You are indeed correct. Uh, dark green nerd nest. Uh, I have a green nerd nest. It's not exactly the hue that I want. Uh, I can show you guys, but uh, I, 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 I mean, you guys know me. Green's one of my favorites, so green will definitely happen. Uh, are you doing copper next run? I got brass, but I wanted copper. Uh, yes, yes, we are. Um, in, in my personal opinion, the copper just it looks so stunning in person. It, it's it's pretty special. So, hundred percent gonna do copper again. Still plan to do patina nest. We do. Yeah, K Thrizzy has about ten or fifteen patinaed brass nests that we haven't dropped yet so we will for sure bring it out bring it out i think you guys have already seen that green one that i had done i can show you hang on we i i do have an ss as oh my you guys are gonna turn this into a nest stream let me grab it real quick hang on Let's see what we got. How's it going, boss man? Yo, what up, Tentationals? I would love one of Jade, dude. I have arrived, excited for this build. Yo, what's up, Mosaic? Shout out to Mosaic as well for um, for all the uh, insane renders. Super lit. SS would be nice. So I'll show you guys kind of some interesting things, right? So um, this is that green I was talking about. It's like, it's literally like a radioactive, like nuke, nuke data green. This was one of the original prototypes. As you can tell, it doesn't say nest on the back here. 
but this is a green one um this is definitely not the the hue that i was going for but it is kind of interesting nonetheless so this one's super old um there is that green one right and then we have um i have a cerakoted one as well so this is the we are doing a ton of cerakoted ones i know i said we were going to stick away from the cerakoted ones but i did find some some pretty amazing Cerakoting shops that I'm confident in. So we are going to Cerakote some of them. Uh, this is a Cerakoted one. As you can tell, it's like super well done. For me, Cerakoting, whenever they get like little hairs or little like dots underneath, it bugs the crap out of me. Um, and as you can see, like this one, it did a really nice job on it. This was the original design as well that I changed. This was even before I uh, made the little taps. So this was this was actually what gave me the idea. I, I'd love to take credit for it as well. But um, I got the idea somewhere else. And then what happened is the Cerakote shop actually drilled in underneath the bump on. As you can see, this is an OG one. So I didn't have the, um, the holes to hang it from, right? So those holes, you hang it and you dip it in the anno or you can hang it and then Cerakote it, right? Um, but this was pre that design. So as you can tell, they actually drilled into this and then they hung it on one. So it turned out pretty good, but this is a Cerakote one. Yo, <laughs> what's up, Alex? Dude, I saw you streaming earlier. Let's go, bud. Mech 27v2 refunding? No way. How long was that? How'd you get so many Nessie sponsored by NRD? Yo, this was, um, this is actually the last Robin's egg that I have. <sighs> I think I gave Alex, uh, one of the, I think there's only a couple of these Robin's egg ones, but we are going to be running Robin's egg blue. Um, I'll tell you guys that right now. I've gotten so many people asking about Robin's egg blue, um, just to no avail. Um, so we are definitely going to be running this. We're going to be bringing them to the Cerakoters. Uh, we have about um, we have about 80 nests that we're going to get Cerakoted, uh, I believe. Don't don't quote me on it, but that's the current plan. Um, we are going to get 80 of them Cerakoted, and I, I I love Robin's eggs so so much that we might be going like at least 30 or 40 Robin's egg blue. So just so you guys can kind of kind of keep track of of what's coming out um, this is the this one's super nice it's like a shinier see how shiny it is so that's the thing about I mean I'm learning so much with this obviously um, with manufacturing and whatnot but with Cerakoting it's super difficult because you don't know how it's gonna turn out until you get it like this one it depends on the actual Cerakote that you choose right so if you brought something in to get Cerakoted um, and they, they show you the little like, you know, the little samples. Uh, you might think that they're all going to turn out the same finish, just different colors, right? But that's that's kind of not the case. These two, they look the same on the shelf. And then I got them Cerakoted. And this is more of like a matte finish. Like you can even hear it. Right? And then this one turned out like super like sleek. Uh, I don't, I don't want to say slimy, but it's more like gloss, right? You don't hear anything. It's almost like a retro like refrigerator. Um, so that's kind of the tough thing with Cerakote. You don't really know what it's going to turn out like. So now that we've done a bunch of nests uh, and I can kind of, I know what to expect. I feel more comfortable giving them a bulk amount. So that's kind of the deal with the Cerakote. All right. Anyways, sorry, I've been neglecting chat. I can't multitask when I'm talking about uh, nests clearly. We got the trifecta tonight. I have the Red Bull. I have my alcohol redemption. And I have some Yerba Mate tea, which I think is too hot right now, but let's try. I have like the most sensitive tongue in the world. It's pretty hot, pretty hot. How many tea bags are in there? <laughs> Dude, my coffee machine's broken. I need caffeine somehow. So anyways, um, that blue is a similar color as Alex's username. Yo, it is. Alex, wait, 
can you choose the color of your username? I feel like every time you come into my chat, it's that same like super epic blue. Wait, you, you can change it? I feel like every time I go into someone's chat, they make it a different color. How do you change? Is it per, is it like for each person's chat? Or does it change depending on who's you go into? Click on your name in chat. Oh. Me and Ryan are both like, what? For every chat. Chat. Click on my name. Edit profile? Edit chat identity. Oh, global name color. Yo. All right. Hmm. I'm going to go fire brick. <laughs> okay. You learn something new every day. What's the color of the moment today? It is silver. It is silver. It's from the um, the private GB, right? The small GB where it has the uh, special engraving on the back, which I'll show you guys. Uh, but anyways, all right, let's catch up with chat and I'll show you a couple more nests and then we'll get uh, this show on the road. Uh, I'm glad I stuck with the Gagia Classic. I can fix it anytime. So that's kind of what happened with my uh, espresso machine. I've owned it for over two years now and um, it's never failed on me. But... The problem is they shipped it two years ago with an Android tablet that was, um, I, even at the time, it wasn't a very nice tablet. So what happens is I've been in contact with Decent and they basically say, you know, over time, two to three years, the tablets die. But the good thing is you can just get a new Android tablet. Kind of sucks that it's, it was, I was just outside the two year warranty. So I had to buy a new tablet, but it was $99. I wasn't going to cry about it. So um, they're shipping me a new tablet and then I'm gonna put up, the machine itself, flawless. It's the, it's the tablet that went bad. Unfortunately, I can't use the machine without the tablet. So that's, that's I've been like, dude, what do I, how do I get coffee? So that's the worst thing about it. I do have a Gagia Classic Pro um, at Sandy's that I've been using in the meantime. Still very good, 100% um, recommend that as a starter. Hello, it's me, Teal Alex, yo. <laughs> is that the GS60? This is the derivative, yes. Keurig time? I've been having some work coffee. It's not terrible, it's not terrible. Thank you for telling me about 21KB. Got them on the restock and love them. Yo, nice. Which ones were you able to grab? I always miss the, I miss like every restock. I'm so bad. All right, we're gonna finish the rest of this. Oof. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys real quick here the difference. So don't mind these like marks inside. This is actually a stainless steel non clear coated. So um, it's going to patina over time. As you can tell, it's already starting to patina. So um, kind of it's 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 kind of inevitable that it's gonna have these marks, right? Uh, but I want to show you guys kind of the difference between stainless steel and um, or uh, aluminum, uh, silver aluminum. Yo, TYTN, thank you for the prime. Let's go, bud. What are you typing on? What are you drinking? Um, I am drinking, so that was a Red Bull, trying to get my caffeine there. Then I have a, uh, I got an alcohol redemption, so we're gonna go with a uh, an Ashland hard seltzer, raspberry lemonade. 5% alcohol, so we're not gonna get too lit tonight. And then I do have my two tea packets of yerba mate. Let's see if we can, if this is drinkable now. Mm. Still quite hot. But yeah, here, here are the two different colors, uh, or a uh, comparison rather, of aluminum and stainless steel, right? The stainless steel cost about three times as much to manufacture. So keep that in mind. The silver is like really shiny. So that's that. And then someone did ask about the um, the patina nest. So this is actually a brass. This is actually a brass nest that's been um, forced patina to black. Uh, let me let me take these caps out and show you guys. So this is actually brass, pretty cool. 
K Thrizzy did make um, a bunch of these. He put a, a bunch of blood, sweat, and tears into these. If you guys know about Force Patina, it does take a lot of work. So shout out to if you guys ever seen Knee Deep, he does some amazing work. Um, K Thrizzy did this one. It's like a forced patina on brass. Super cool. You can even see some of the brass on the edges, which I think is super nice. It's almost it's almost like a tarnished, like a tarnished brass. Right? You see how you can see on the corners there? Super cool. So uh, we do have a bunch of these that we're going to be putting up. By a bunch, I think there's like 10 or 15. So not a ton. Bro, these nest finishes don't miss. Yo, me wants. I will uh, I will definitely make sure you get one, Michael. <sighs> Yo, what up, 789? Patina, it's so even. So, <laughs> K3, okay, I'll tell you guys. Don't don't tell K3 Z I told you this, but we ordered 50 raw, raw brass nests. And um, I, because if you guys know raw brass, it literally, you, you, you barely touch it. And it's like complete patina with your with the oils from your from your skin. And I told K3 we were ordering, I'm like, dude, like that's a lot of brass nests. You sure you're gonna patina all of those? And he's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, it'll 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 be worth trust, trust. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> so there have been like so many. This was basically his like experimentation field where uh, there are so many raw pa raw patina brass nests that look like they're like they belong in like the freaking titanic deep sea expedition so um this was after he had already kind of like you know more or less perfected it um but uh but yeah i think it looks super cool definitely took this was probably like <laughs> nest number like 25 or something to get it this even uh he he uses some certain process the hardest thing about the nest was um it's super hard to get it even inside these pockets because what happens is you patina it and then it pools up uh, and then it just becomes super uneven uh, but he found a way to do it perfectly what he I think what he did was he like he dipped it in the patina and then he took like one of those air duster cans and dusted and air dusted it all out I'm, I'm giving away his secret technique but um, that way there was no pools in there because if you just kind of like shook it like this um, it wouldn't work or if you use like a cloth obviously it would mess up the patina so anyway long story short we do have some sick nests coming out. Trade secret. <laughs> um, and then this was the, uh, how am I just seeing this finish for the first time? This one has been sitting uh, outside, Michael, for like quite a bit. I, I love it. And dude, obviously this thing's like st stupid heavy too, cause it's brass. I'll take a B-stock patina. Yo. <laughs> yeah, we'll do like the deep sea edition. So. That black one looked real good though. Yo, I'm gonna tell K3s you guys, uh, you guys are digging it. Uh, and then this is the blue one. So like I said, this one was um, pretty, pretty special because it's kind of I have I probably have less than ten of these. I think it's like five or six to be honest. Um, I call it like the lapis blue, um, and it, it turned out super nice. So I think we're, we might try and get more of these done. It turned out super nice. So um, I think it would be a shame to uh, stop at five. <laughs> and you guys have already all seen the, uh, the copper one as well. I'll show you that real quick. Copper never misses. And we got that, uh, the Kaze Golden Star Keycap Owl there as well. So anyways. So that's kind of your nest update. Yo, white album. Let's go, bud. How's it going? Copper patina is best patina. Yes, I would agree with you on that. I would agree. The Shopify cap is righteous. Dude, right? <laughs> I love it. Shout out to uh, X Little Man for prepping this uh, Yerba Mate perfectly. Yo, what's up, man? Dude, what's up, dude? 
my frumps artisan would look real nice in the lap piece nest yo dude frumps is killing it so i need this blue take me money <laughs> um dude it is very similar to nick's aru you're right you're right i kind of want to see those beastock patinas feel like they'd have unique character they do they do maybe i'll post a picture of all the beastock ones <laughs> it definitely looks pretty funny oh stream is only 30 minutes i checked back an hour later for the build okay bud a little toxic stoked to receive my nest yes just tune in so apologize if this was already stated but any timeline for a second nest drop surprisingly uh no one has asked that yet um the uh just to, just to kind of give you guys a little little idea um we do have um some nests coming in next week from the manufacturer uh but super small amount i was testing the e-white and i was testing the very peri i i kind of Showed a, uh, showed a couple of those on, on my uh, Instagram. Both turned out absolutely fantastic. Um, unfortunately, there's there's a very small amount. So we're gonna, I think the next drop is probably gonna be that. Probably some patina brass. Um, and then I don't know how long the Cerakoted ones are gonna take. Uh, to Cerakote 80 nests, it might take a while. So it's kind of pending that. I would hate to do a drop. Um, this is my, my thought process, right? I would hate to do a drop for like, for like 30 or 40 nests. I just feel like it would be like, um, uh, not like a tease, but but almost like kind of just like, why even do a drop for that little amount, you know? So I kind of want to wait, make, wait until we get a decent amount of them. I need a knee deep copper, yo. Hour later and unboxing still not over. Speaking of unboxing, that GAF TGR 910 is godly, I agree. Yo, what up Effie Keeps? how's it going? Like 150 or so. yeah, the last drop was like 130, I think it was. So I mean, it wasn't a ton of nests. We definitely are are trying to um, to have larger drops, uh, but it was it was definitely a, a, a decent amount, I would say, for an in stock. DC's deadbeats worth. That's a tough one for me. Um, as you guys can tell, I love Hello Caps bongos. Yo, what's up, Jade the best? Happy anniversary to you and mom. Dude, you better be in bed by 10 o'clock. Showered and in bed before 10. You hear me? You got you got baseball practice in the morning. <laughs> You're looking kind of handsome, dude. Yo, I will take that. Thank you. Never saw a group buy for the TGR gaff. Friends drop? Yeah, so... Um, to my understanding, the, the GAF 910s that are out right now are from the friends and family. Um, the ones that are coming are from a China-only GB. And then there's also going to be some, I think, in-stock US ones. I don't know. It's kind of up in the air. Dude, this one looks super nice on screen, huh? Wow. k 3 z killed it. So, um... Face value, I would say DCS Deadbeats is is definitely too expensive for my taste, especially for DCS. But if you want to support the artisan uh, makers and you you think that you like love that keycap set, I'm not gonna tell you not to buy it. For me personally, it's a little pricey for DCS. But uh, people buy things for for their own reasons, right? Did you have any nests that shipped internationally, dude? I was honestly like I was shocked. Yo, what up, Manoli? Dude, Manoli, this one's actually yours. I um, I haven't packaged it up yet. I feel like this this matches. This is pretty close to your to your set, huh? Um, I was I was insanely surprised at the amount of international orders that we got. So um, I kind of wanted to address two things. And that was, um, I do be blue, been waiting on you to make this color, gonna stick all the evil eye artisans. Yo, dude, uh, you know what I wanna do is I wanna start sending the, um, I wanna send the nest uh, files to people that make GMK sets. Um, and I feel like it'd be a good way to display like the artisans in the render. But anyways, <laughs> I have a lot of plans. But um, what were we just talking about again? 
I just realized this is a global emote. Yo. Uh, uh, oh, yes. So, international. Uh, dude, when I was printing out all of those packing slips and shipping labels, dude, we had people from all over the world. Literally, like, like Laos, Paris. Um, I, sh I should go over. It was literally, like, so many different countries. China, Vietnam. Uh, where else? Uh, Thailand, uh, there was like, I, I don't know how many different countries we had, but I want to say it was like, like 30 or 40, like 30% of the orders were international. It was insane. It was actually insane. You put, uh, extra stickers in my box, right? Yo, Avo, I'll send you some, some stickers. Don't you worry. So, um, the other thing I wanted to address was, and maybe you guys can, can correct me on this, but I did have some people... I did have some people say like, oh my god, they sold out so fast, um, like, botters and scripters ruin this, uh, hobby. But, I personally don't know a bunch about coding or, or websites, right? But, to my understanding is, uh, you'd have to have, like, a bot or a script to analyze the website in order to optimize it for the drop, right? So, for instance, that our website has never been public. It's had a password on it since we created it. The only time the public saw the website was on the drop date. So to my understanding is we didn't have any botters or, or scripters if no one was ever able to see the website. Is that correct? Unless someone somehow saw it? <laughs> Yo, Pugsy, thank you for the prime for three months. I don't think there was a bot problem. Yeah, I, there, I don't, it wasn't botted in my opinion because uh, the website was never live until the drop date. And just looking at the people that bought it, um, it was all over the place, all over the place. I think a lot of people just missed your stream with the password. Yeah, yeah, I would agree with that. People just have quick fingers, <laughs> yeah, but um, at the end of the day, I always told you guys, I mean, you guys have been staring at the nest on my screen for what, like a year now. Um, and so, and you guys, I've always been asking about the updates and supporting me. So I always, I, I told you guys on multiple occasions that when I did the drop, I was going to give you guys a heads up. So, um, I, I always, uh, a Lannister always repays his debts. And uh, I wanted to uh, kind of hook you guys up a little bit. So hopefully, if you're watching my stream, you got one. Um, if you didn't get one, we're going to try and do a drop. I don't want to be beholden to this, but we're going to plan to do a drop, hopefully, every month or two. So, uh, and going forward, we're only planning on doing larger quantities than the prior month. So, it's only going to get, I think, easier to get one. I don't want to do a group buy. I, I don't like the idea of group buys, even if the turnaround is pretty quick. Um, I just feel like it, it, it doesn't make it special anymore. I don't know. I don't like group buys. So I don't think we're going to do a group buy. I think we're just going to buy a ton of, um, fork up the money and do big, big in stocks. Yo, what's up, Coob? And are you about to outpace frog drops? Yo. Well, this is a pretty simple design. Is this a bro memento stream? It kind of is, huh? Can you do a, a raw brass and kiss the bottom? Dude, that'd be pretty hilarious, huh? All right, enough about Ness. I think you guys are um, pretty up to date on those. Kaze in stock, please. It will be in stock. I, I do get a ton of people still asking um, Kaze when or are you gonna? is Kaze ever going to be public? Maybe I should do a post on my Instagram and, and on NRD because um, I've, I've announced it quite a bit. And that is that Makibo is going to be um, having the in-stock Kazes. Uh, we're looking at like towards the end of Q2, hopefully. Um, for those, they are already ordered. They're already paid for. They're ordered. So it's out of our control, out of our hands. Kub redeemed a random gem from the mineral collection. Yo. All right. Next time I chair stream, I'll grab that. <laughs> how, you, how you doing, Coob? All right, anyways, so let's get these nests out the way. Uh, I'll pop this back here. I'm going to leave this one here because it looks pretty damn good on the walnut, right? I did have an alcohol redemption, so we'll crack that open. Um, 
for those of you that did not see my Instagram, I am going to be giving away um, a blue one. <laughs> not this one, because this one's Manoli's. <laughs> Unless he wins, then I can just ship it to him and we can call it a day. <sighs> nice mug. Yo, I got this at the... Um, I got this at the Starbucks Reserve um, in Chicago. Cause a drop every month. Yo, speaking of, I did Queens doesn't exist to NRD. Wow. Yeah, right. Dude, yell at Shopify for that one. Um, this is the sample FR4 plate that we are going to be offering for the Kaze. It's gonna come with an aluminum plate um, stock. Uh, and I basically have this to test it out, see if we like it. If we like it, then these are gonna be the ones that we're gonna have as in stock. Um, I've always been a huge fan of the exposed, um, what is it? It's not copper, is it? I guess exposed, I forgot the name of it but the exposed uh, <laughs> shiny portions. Um, we do have the uh, the blocked NRD logo there. Um, I did kind of want to ask you guys about this as well. Um, <sighs> any PC plate? Um, I don't think we're going to be offering PC, but then again, this is V2CE mount. So if you have a V2CE PC plate, you can use it or you can always just get one made the plate files are public so it's not going to be a huge deal to get different files or uh, plates made uh there are no uh are there any pc cases being produced yes there are um we we are going to be in stocking um so for the in stock that is currently ordered for makivo it's the gun metal it's the um kaze red it's the denim blue and the smoke pc those will all four be in stock on Makibo. They've already been ordered. They've already been paid for. Um, now it's just a waiting game. So, Nest Page says 4.5 degrees. Shouldn't it be 9 degrees? Is it? It might be, huh? Shoot, I probably have to update that. <laughs> so, anyways, um, with regards to the FR4 plate. I do, uh, this is this is what I go through when I am uh, kind of deciding on different design features and stuff, right? So I think about things like this, right? So we have, let me get my spudger. How many colors of each Kaze? How many colors of each Kaze? Red, gunmetal, and denim. So three aluminum, one smoke PC color. All right, so... Um, this is kind of what I go through, right? So I, I definitely dig how this looks. It's on both sides. It has that masking. Pretty cool. Um, the one thing that I'm kind of debating on is this right here, right? So on the PCB, I think it's a home run. I think because the PCB is going to be Kaze specific, right? Um, that makes sense. To me, I think of this and I say, wow, this, this does look super cool, but it would be also nice to just have a normal switch here. That way, if you do have a V2 CE or any other CE mounted board, you can you can buy this plate as well from our store. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. If we keep this here, it limits us to use this with just the Kaze. It would be nice to offer this plate in the store as well without this. So that's kind of something, that's the only thing that I'm debating right now. Other than that, I like how everything else looks the flex uh, cuts look really nice as well. Show you a little close up here. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll I'll maybe we'll order enough for the Kaze run with this, and then we'll order some extras without that. Um, kind of still still trying to see what we want to do here. So. think he means how many of each color that sir is a secret question or secret answer <laughs> i'd buy it for f13 compat that's kind of what i'm thinking maybe we'll offer both so anyways plate turned out nice i am going to be building this with um with some pinocos 
So I'm gonna be putting Pinocos on FR4. I have my, my PCBs already. So um, that'll be a pretty, a pretty sweet build to test out the plate. Obviously, um, I want to build it up first, make sure it looks good, sounds good, feels good, and obviously works uh, before we order it. So I am gonna be doing a build of this, right? All right. Couple more small unboxings. Then we'll get to the 910 gaff and we'll get to the build stream. Uh, hi, Lil Are you able to answer if different badges will be sold? Uh, yes, they will. Yes, they will. Yeah. JWK on FR4 is amazing. Agreed. Yo, what up, TV Slumpy? Oh, Tommy Hong. Shanghai badge. Um, I will do a small, I will do a small leak with you guys. Um, but I'll pull up Bisa Romi where I'm not going to answer any questions. We are working with, um, an artisan, one of my favorite artisan makers on a Kaze badge. So pretty hyped about that. Um, and I think you guys will be also the blue nerd nest in the corner. Yo, what up chef Hooney? Dude. I, I really love how this blue turned out. I think we have to run it. I really think we have to run it. Okay. So I, I showed up. Um, yo, what up, second? Dude, the 7V badge turned out so freaking good. Did you guys see Lat 7V badge? I saw that and I was like, I don't even have a 7V, but I want it. <laughs> I know this might be a little bit premature, but will you run a cause a round two or will it be a one time thing? That's tough. I, if I'm, if, if like you want a direct answer from my brain, um, I don't even know the answer to that. I think we'll have to see how, how the first round turns out, how successful it is. If P, if there's like an insane demand, maybe we'll run a round two. Um, uh, but, um, as of right now, I honestly don't know. I think what we want to do is we have the Kaze, we have the Ness. Um, I am currently working on another um, layout board that I think we're going to want to run um, before any Kaze round two would be ran. So if we did run a round two, it'd be pretty far out in the future. So I went over to Makivo um, to talk to Popcorn about basically the um, the uh, the Kaze order, um, which is nice because um, it, I do feel super fortunate that the vendor that is going to be offering Kaze as an in stock is like 25 minutes from my place. So any questions I have, any QC issues, anything that happens, I just book it over there and we solve it. So um, I was over there, we were talking about um, PCBs and plates and uh, she gave me a little, uh, a little goodie package. So uh, let's check it out. What do we got here? All right, so a lot of vendors have been doing this TX obviously did this one. Uh, these like, you could test out your stabs. Um, I usually just use like PCBs. So, but I'm sure some people would probably find some value in these. All right, what else? Um, oh, I was sent, uh, I got the Minx. I did get Minx now, right? You guys saw, saw these last time. I have not done I have not done a build with these yet, obviously. I need to send them to my uh, my Luber, but I'll give you guys a quick look. Um, I have heard good things about them. They are very smooth, but uh, I have not done a build yet. They look super nice. All right, so I did pick up the Minx. I, I wanna say, oh, oh, okay, that one's a goner. That one's a goner. I want to say, let's see here. Um, bah, 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 bah. Actually, let's see if uh, there are any minks left on Mikibo. Ooh, nice. So there, there are some still in stock. If you guys are trying to buy the minks, um, when I talked to her on, was it a week ago? She did not have that many left. So I would say if you are trying to get some, uh, definitely check out now. Um, I know she didn't have that many. And uh, like I said before, I don't have any like, you know, 
discount codes or commission with Mikivo. So definitely just, just go to the website. Are you going to film them? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. I have found that they're slightly wobblier than normal inks. Um, so I do think they would benefit from, um, they would benefit from a, uh, a film job. Minks, I have to lube mine still. I'm waiting for the springs. Oh, what springs are you putting in it? I think they're what? Gat yellows? Are they gat yellows? Stock? Who lubes your switches? Um, Uber Sloth. I finally said his name. Uber Sloth. Das Uber Sloth. So, uh, what else did she give me? I got these. I don't think I've ever done a build stream with Texies before. I know they are getting quite popular. But uh, check these out. Kind of interesting how they ship these uh, switches in a box. Want to buy TX Stabs? Yo, I think she's getting some very soon. Yo, Mr. Screamer. Excited to see 910 gap. Yo, what's up, Never Smile? Dude, same. I, I'll be honest with you guys, I haven't even opened the 910 gap yet. I haven't even seen it myself. I've been so freaking busy. So um, I'm, I'm pretty stoked to unbox it. Singularity. These are the Singularity, indeed. Uh, these are also long pole. Dude, listen to that. All right? Let's take a look. These have the, um, what is it? The, the metal, the metal housing to give that color or metal inside the housing. I don't know. It's got that like, you know, in my paintball days, we called this oil slick. They look pretty cool. They are quite damn expensive though. They are expensive. So, uh, let me see. Does Texi even do a switch without long pole? Do you write? <laughs> I don't know if I've, I've I, I don't know if I've ever seen a taxi switch that's that's not long pole. Did I miss the five? What the? Yo, Z Lobby. Uh, that was yesterday, bro. What up, Z Lobby? Okay, so they uh, they definitely sound good, just as every other long pole linear sounds. Um, I would say they're they're like not super smooth, but they're not like super scratchy either. They're okay. I would say in the smoothness department. Cookie girls, can't wait to see it. Yo, what's up, Cookie? And we got Grim in the house. Yo, let's go, bud. Don't think they do. I want to say I built I built a board with like tactile Texies like way back in the day. The UPS man, my second favorite delivery man, right next to Mr. Mr. DHL. <laughs> you're still you're still in my top three though. I believe Giant V Time is Texie and Long Pole. Not long pole. Interesting. Yo, what up, Chonga? Dude. Is that is the Nest video live yet? Can we get a link for that if it is? I know K3Zy was talking to you about that. Yo, Grim gifted a tier one to Ariston. Let's go. Dude. If I didn't lag so much tonight, I could have done a Saline unboxing as well. The double whammy. There's the link. Check out that link. You know what? Actually, here, let's do uh We can get this because I am now a half professional streamer. Boom! Kabam! Shazam! Pause the music. How do I pause my music? Spacebar. Check it out. Dude, we need to run more of that pink. So clean. So clean. Definitely check out uh, sus boards if you have not. I mean, I don't know how you could be into keyboards and not know about sus boards. But uh, if, if you are in that uh, that department, definitely check them out. Um, I'm going to go hit the little, little boys room real quick. And I'll be right back.
All right, we're back, dude. I, I totally forgot to play my music. I need to. I need Ryan to see Buff Sandy. What is Buff Sandy? What the frick are you talking about? Derivative looking good. Riot time. All right, simmer down, simmer down. That matcha hitting him hard tonight, dude. I need. I need more. Need more coffee. Yo, do I even want to click on this? Dude, guy's jacked. What is this body fat? Like, negative 5%? <laughs> um, that pink was actually Cerakote. So it's called, it's called Bazooka Pink. Pretty cool. It's a pretty cool color. So, uh, at any rate, um, I... I totally lied to you guys. I told you that the derivative had not left my desk since I built it, but that is a that is a flat out lie because if you guys recall, I built the derivative. I want to say what switches did I use? Oh my god, dude. What switches? Someone help me out. What switches did I build this with? Was it Oh, the Minx. The Minx that I, the Frankenstein Minx that I made. Um, and I felt like it was a little bit muted and I thought to myself, whenever I build a board that's slightly muted, I usually will go in the cherry black direction or I'll go in like the OP black direction. And, uh, so in my head, I was like, I love this board so much. It would be, um, a travesty to leave these switches in here. So what I did was I desoldered it and I rebuilt it with Popus, which are the OP black recolor. And um, I think it's safe to say, I already told this to Justin, this is in my top three, 100%, without a doubt, top three favorite 60% I've had. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do a typing test for you guys because it's definitely warranted. Um, and, I, and I think you will agree with me. So just to show you guys real quick here, these are, these are the, the Popus. Show you guys the derivative real quick here. Insane. I have not, obviously I have not built a moment yet but it is obviously another Justin board. So I have high hopes for it tonight. I canceled my mode to save for the cause. I better hit the raffle. Yo, that is a solid decision, I would say. Dude, I need to build the board with my OP Blacks. They've been sitting lube for a year. Dude, if you have not built a board with Popus or OP Blacks, honestly, you are, mi you are missing out. I will tell you right now, you're missing out. They have, they have surpassed my favorite switch, which was the ink. I think right now I would choose OP Blacks or Popus over inks. I have been converted. I'll tell you guys that. What's the other two in the top three? I say top three because I don't know exactly. I don't know exactly. I just know that this is in there. Um, if I had to guess, if you, if you like held a gun to my head and I had to think of one other 60% that could be in there, uh, it would be the ogre. So if you guys remember, I used the ogre for the longest time on stream. Um, so I think I think for sure ogre, for sure derivative. I don't know the third. I, I honestly don't know the third. Ogre is for sure better than the corn, in my opinion. 100%. 100%. OP blacks on FR4 or aluminum better? That's a great question. Um, I, I personally have not built a board with OP blacks or popus on... FR4, but if they behave, if they behave any, uh, if they have any, any similarity to like Pinocos or JWK on FR4, I'm sure it's a banger. I'm sure it's good. If I had to bet money on it, I would say FR4 with Popus or OP Blacks is nice. Um, I, I just, I, I've only built with aluminum so far and I love it. So without further ado, I will give you guys the, uh, the derivative. This is Popu on aluminum. Right, so I originally wanted to go with an aluminum half plate after uh, the build, but Justin didn't have any more. Um, 
So I was like, you know what? I will rebuild it with the full plate. And to be honest with you guys, I'm, I'm ec ecstatic that I did. So I, I think I would like this more than the half plate. <sighs> did I miss the 910? I can't remember. We are gonna do a typing test on this. I have like a tiny unboxing to do and then the 910. We're only at an hour, don't you worry. Okay, here we go. I even have a matching Limo cable for this board. That's how much, uh, <laughs> and it matches my desk mat. Like it's, it's, uh, it's kind of a match made in heaven. All right. Let's take a look here. I'm gonna pause the music, get that monkey type on. Interact. We've identified an issue. Get out of here. You know, we'll do 60 seconds. We'll do 60 seconds. All right, here we go. Hopefully that translated quite well, uh, but this is a banger in person. Absolute banger. It's like just poppy enough uh, without being too high pitched. So pretty, pretty freaking stoked with how it turned out. I hear Oil Kings are the new banger. Um, so I did get Oil Kings in from Divinity. I just got them in. I have not lubed them yet. I have not lubed them yet. Uh, yeah, I've not lubed them quite yet, but I, I am pretty excited to try them out given the fact that they're pretty similar to CJ's. Is it a sin to use MX Blacks on PC? No, it is not. That is a solid combo, I would say. Oil Kings can be used stock. I know they can. I'm just not a huge fan of how stock switches sound, no matter how smooth they are. Uh, they're lubed, but they're not, um, they're factory lubed, so it's a little bit different, I would say. Yeah, the IU that I built was, was, um, was Cherry Hyperglide Blacks on PC, and, uh, and it was, it was one of my, my favorite combos. Oil King Lube is actually insane, I would try it? Do I have them? Hang on, hang on. Shoot, 
I don't know where I put them. Oh wait, I think this is them. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about, right? Let's see. Yeah, so these are the Oil Kings. Um, let me show you kind of, uh, let me grab, I'll grab a Lube CJ and I'll show you exactly what I mean. And then we can also compare this to a, uh, a stock, a stock OP black. Okay. Shout out to my boy, Uliano. Middle keys has some in stock. Does, does Divinity have them? Let's see. I think I got mine from, from Carl at Divinity. CJs are in stock on Divinity. Um, let's see. Oh, he sold out. Damn. Okay. Rip. Okay. So let's get to the bottom of this. Fresh basil. <laughs> Yo, dude, I've, um, I like, I like basil on my pizza. Uh, for stocks, which is, they really impressed me. 80 gram spring, I think is misleading because it's extremely long and 80 gram bottom out. To me, they felt like a normal 67 to 70. Okay, so a little bit heavier still for me. I personally would relube Oil King anyway just because of OCD. If I didn't mod it myself, it's not correct. Yo. Okay, so this is what Basel, um, like Basel World. So this is the sound that I don't like. So do you guys hear how, the, the, it's, it's, what I have found, it's, it's the upstroke a lot of the time that sounds too um, kind of high-pitched and plasticky to me without lube, right? So I, I would never use, even though the OP Black is so smooth stock, it's so smooth stock, I'm not lubing it to make it smoother, I'm lubing it for sound at this point and feel, right? So that's what I don't like. And now here is a lubed CJ. Right? Now let's check out a stock Oil King. All right, okay, so I will say it still has that upstroke ping that I don't like, but this might be the least amount I've ever heard in the stock switch. Okay, so compare this. OP Black, Oil King. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I will admit that. Um, me personally, personally, I would never use this stock, but that's because I'm super picky. And if I'm gonna be spring swapping this, which I would assume most people are gonna be spring swapping this, unless you, for some reason, like more than 65 gram springs. So if you're gonna be spring swapping this, in my opinion, you might as well just lube it. The Oil King sounds almost exactly halfway between the two. I would agree. I would agree. For some reason. <laughs> Bro, everyone starts out super high, like 65, 70 gram. And then, and then over time, six months later, they drop a couple grams. A year later, they drop a, gr a couple grams. So, uh, my, I personally like 60 gram. I like 60 or maybe 62. I still do 67, have for years. All right, bud. <laughs> All right, bud. How many years did it take you to get your switches back? From who? Did you guys know Lulsax, oh, from me, used to run a lube service ages ago. Dude, you can make a ton of money lubing switches. It's expensive. Uh, to clarify, nothing compares to a personally lube switch, but for a factory switch, I was seriously impressed by the Oil Kings. Hopefully they will only get better in the future. Obi-Wan, I 100% agree with you, right? So um, to me, to me, the Oil King sounds like it is like directly in the middle of a normal stock switch and a hand lube switch. So um, at this point, if any of my friends wanted a, a linear that they did not want to lube, I would probably recommend the Oil King. That, that, that's pretty impressive. That is impressive. It, it's, it might be the best sounding stock switch 
that I have had um, it, with regards to the like plasticky poppy sound. Your mental got to be prepared for the grind, dude. I lubed, I lubed some switches for people for like, like a month, and I was like, nope, <laughs> nope. It's because when you get older, your muscles deteriorate. Yo, damn, dude, that's pretty, that's pretty rip right there. My girlfriend complains at her 45 gram J Wicks and she wants to go lower. What? So, dude, I would, I would be like, uh, I would be mashing all over the place with 45 gram springs. I've, I have found that the J Wicks have been pretty popular. I have not tried them. Is it because they're pretty cheap? I have, I have not, I have not tried the J Wicks yet. When I got into the hobby, I used to love lubing not. <laughs> They're a budget JWK? That's what I figured. Okay. Thoughts on Cherry MX Hyperglides? Um, I love them. I love them. I, I personally think you still have to cherry pick them. Still cherry pick them for sure. I, I, with, with, uh, from, in my opinion, the best experience with Cherry Hyperglides is I get my batch, right? I get my batch of Hyperglides. I go through and I first, I, I, I'll, first off, if I'm building, I always order like about 20 extra switches than I need, maybe even more. Because I mean, at the end of the day, cherry blacks are pretty cheap, right? They're not like JWK switches, right? So it's not, it's not terrible to order extra switches. So what I'll do, say I'm building a 60%, I'll order 80 or 90 switches. I'll, I'll get the switches. I will, I will cherry pick by smoothness, right? Say out of the 90, it, it brings me down to like 70. I'll lube all 70. And then I will then again cherry pick before I put it into the board. And I will make sure I put the smoothest ones on the alphas. In my opinion, just doing those two steps makes a huge difference. But I will do that with cherry blacks um, all the time. JWK, not, not really the case. I feel like they're all pretty smooth. Gotta have a smooth space bar. Yes, I will do the alphas and I'll do the, the mods. And then I'll, I'll focus on the escape too because I tend to mash that a lot. I have 300 cherry blacks just sitting ducks. Yeah. <laughs> then I'm like, what do I do? What do I do with all these bad cherry blacks? <laughs> to mech market they go. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to do like a J-Wick um, budget build or something. Anyway, I digress, right? So we do have... The Singularity Switches, I don't know if Makibo still has these in stock. But if you've ever been interested in long pole switches, um, it's the bottom out that's the biggest difference, right? So if we if we push this, this stem all the way down, you can see how it still sticks out. That is a long pole. The stem does not go fully into the top housing. You see it sticking out still? If we did that with a CJ, it, it fully goes below the top housing. See that? So when people say it's a long pole switch, it means that the pole bottoms out and the stem more or less is, is still above the housing, right? What, what that does is you, you now hear the bottom of the pole mashing into the bottom housing. So it gives you a very, a very nice, like, very good sound. Right. So, um, I, I personally am not, I'm not a huge fan of it. I love the sound, but I don't like the feeling of typing on something with the pole bottoming out first. Sounds good. Feels bad. That's my opinion. But if you're going strictly for sound, in my experience, it's pretty damn hard to have long pole switches sound bad. Okay. So, uh, popcorn gave me these. I don't know if they're still in stock. Let's see. They are sold out. But dude, these are pretty expensive. What is this? Wow, they were a dollar switch. That's crazy. Aluminum plated. That's what it was. Okay. Anyways. Yeah, usually with long pull switches, you do have a reduced travel as well which I don't like. So we got 35 here and we got uh, 35 here. So maybe I'll do a build with these at some point, right? 
And last but not least, we got some uh, Makibo stickers from my sticker collection. And I did want to show you guys. Oh, we got it. We got a popcorn pin as well. Look at that. I'll add this to my pin collection. <laughs> Dude, I got a my pin collection is definitely is definitely growing at this point. <laughs> Hang on. I think uh, I think I'm gonna have to make a, a Kaze a Kaze pin. We got the uh, we got the the Twitch partner pin. We got the lat pin. We got the Biso pin, and the pop. Oh, I got two popcorn pins. <laughs> there we go. We need it. We need to get a Kaze pin in there. Oh. All right, it's game time. Oh, I got one last thing. I did, I did have Xing Xing uh, send me some of her stickers. <laughs> I want a tiny cork board desk display for my pins. Yo, dude, I want, I want a solid cork nerd nest. If someone knows a someone that can that can make something out of cork, please, please message me. I want a cork nest. Wood nest would be cool too, but I don't know why I really want a cork one. Does Nerd Nest come with sticker? I need sticker for my laptop. Yes, they do. They do. Um, what we've been trying to do is include one sticker with the aluminum ones and two with the uh, special metal ones, aka the uh, the brass and the um, and the copper silicone nest, dude. <laughs> Bro, I gotta <laughs> I was I was laughing so hard because um, Keith Rizzi got a 3d printer and he 3d printed uh, But it's not one of those like filament ones. It's like one of those like resin ones that like pulls it up It's like a pretty sick one and he 3d printed a nest, but it, it's like pretty pretty scuff Maybe I'll have to bring it and show you guys But um, I, was, I was laughing pretty hard at it. So I'll show you guys a uh, Xing Xing's stickers she sent over and uh, that's kind of one of the reasons why I didn't stream this week until today uh, And that was because I wanted to get the nests out as quick as possible um, We took one day to QC them and we took one day to uh, Basically package them up and ship them out. So I got over his place at like 9 a 9 p.m. so <laughs> for those of you guys that that are <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know what we're working with here. Um, he, he has two kids, right? So so we got to wait till the kids go to bed at nine o'clock Then I can go over there and and um, and QC and do the uh, the packing So I went over there at 9 p.m. And I stayed until 1 a.m uh, Sandy came with me and she actually wrote She actually wrote all the QC cards So when you guys see that like perfect penmanship on the QC cards it wasn't me or Nick. It was Sandy. <laughs> he has three kids, including you. Uh, he, debatable. How often do you wash your desk mat? Um, I never wash my desk mat. I, I actually don't think I've ever washed a desk mat. Are you calling me dirty? Do I need to wash it? <laughs> Have you ever considered QCing at the strip club? There's none. You know, Raz, we thought about this. Um, it definitely came up in discussion from one of a top three QC um, locations, but we we ultimately decided not to because there's just not enough light in a strip club, um, you know. And so that was the biggest the biggest detractor, I would say. Um, also, you'd get a little bit distracted as well. So, um, Lowell's a bad influence to the kids. <laughs> Maybe is that why he waits till they go to bed to invite me over? Huh? Maybe I need to have a discussion. You can get divin divinity and cashmere. Oh, okay, bud. <laughs> the glitter would get all in the pack. Yeah, there's there's multiple reasons why. So uh, we got to enjoy the stickers, dude. This is pretty hilarious. You know, okay. If you guys follow Xing Xing on Instagram, she always posts. She's like laying in her bed with her dog in front of her, and the dog, like this. This is literally. <laughs> this is literally a perfect sticker because if you guys follow her, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. 
her dog looks back at her and the cheek the cheek there's so much like <laughs> cheek right here that almost like covers up the eye of the side it's like <laughs> anyway you'd have to follow her please go follow xing xing uh, this is a perfect depiction of of how her dog looks in real life when she's laying in bed and is looking back at her so we got that one um I can't say I've ever seen her her dog type on a keyboard before, but uh, maybe this is a precursor. Um, we have we have a shiny hollow here. I feel like I'm opening a uh, a Pokemon pack. We got the one holographic here, pretty sick. Uh, and then we got uh, multiples there, dude. How did she get all these sick stickers? Oh, there she is. She's a, a faster typer than me, bro. Patty, this one's so hilarious like this is like spot on spot on like did you take a picture and and give it to the artist to to make this <laughs> and then uh we got this one here dang even the tattoos it's pretty epic x marks the spot is that where the treasure is found so anyways, uh, definitely go follow Xing Xing uh, if you want to see this in real life. Because uh, let's be honest, I only I only follow Patty for her dog her dog pics. But um, don't tell her I oh wait she's here. <laughs> All right, so thanks again, Patty, for the stickers. All right, I think it's time for the heavy artillery. I'm gonna move the derivative so we don't uh, we don't have any contact. No, no metal on metal contact here. Oof. Now let's take a look. So I, I personally have only seen pictures of this online. Um, I've seen a red one, a lilac, a black, and I think maybe a silver one as well. You play Lost Ark. I don't. Um, if I had time to, I would. 100% I would. I just, do, I seriously just do not have time. And I know it sounds like such like a boomer thing to say, but between my day job, having a girlfriend, you know, multiple hobbies, streaming, and trying to run NRD, uh, I, I just don't have time for an MMO. I might have time for like, you know, some battle royales or something I can like put an hour into. But knowing myself, knowing how I get when I play MMOs, AKA WoW, I think I had like 320 days on my WoW account when I stopped playing. And, and WoW hadn't even been out for that long. So um, I, I just, I get way too into it. All right, so we do have GAF X TGR. Pretty cool case. I have I have not seen a case like this before. It's got almost like a um, interesting texture to it. Can you guys see that? Pretty cool. What are your other hobbies? I was super into. How are you gonna post this showcase on YouTube? I should, huh? All right. Scene starts now. <laughs> Maybe I'll do a separate unboxing, but um, uh, what was the question again? <laughs> Look, I've been here for long. I'm gonna wait on a pizza while practicing fingerboarding, but uh, yo, what up monkey wrench? You better save me a slice. My other hobbies, I used to be super into um, into bouldering. I was really into rock climbing, um, mountain biking, gems, keyboards, uh, fashion as, as, as lame as that sounds. Uh, the gym. I got a bunch of hobbies. All right, let's take a look here. All right, um, let's pop up here first. How is fashion lame? I mean, it just sounds lame because I'm not going into detail on, on why I'm into fashion. You just recently got into bouldering. Yo, big mo, let's go. You're in the fitness. I'm not falling for that one. Nothing lame with looking sick. That is true, that is true. All right, um, this looks like it's just a spare PCB, maybe an unused PCB, so I won't open this up. Uh, I just started Boulder again after four years. It's rough. I'm, 
I'm honestly scared. Yo, what up, Dennis? Dennis Brocho with the tier one for 18 months. So I was, I mean, I've told you guys this, sto this story a bunch of times. Um, the whole reason I got into streaming was because my bouldering gym closed uh, when COVID started. So that was what, two years ago now, almost a year and a half ago, a year and a half ago, almost two years now. So um, I was, I was bouldering like four days a week, like three hour sessions. Like that was my thing. Like I just bouldered. I went so I went as often as I could without like killing my body. I was on a rock climbing team in high school. We had a gym at school. I I wish I wish that um, I got into bouldering when I was younger. I really do. I'm I'm very scared. I feel like I'm gonna be super discouraged when I go back. Dude, this thing is heavy. Why is this so heavy? Uh, what level of problems were you doing? I was, um, I would say I, I, I could get the, like the occasional V7. I would project like V6s, V5s. I could, most of them were gimmies to me. Um, so I would say I was on like six, seven. So pretty, pretty decent for sure. Um, but I had only been streaming or sorry, bouldering for like, like maybe like two years. Copper weight, right? Maybe that's, uh... <laughs> oh my God, this thing is ridiculous. Are you joking my ass right now? Oof. 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 Dude, this with the freaking black nest. Ooh. Ooh. Damn. That's that stealthy build. Wow, dude, this is this is a special black. Can you guys see this black? It's not like uh, it's not like a jet black. It's almost like a very very dark gunmetal. Yeah, it's like a, almost like a dark gray. All right, so let's go over this real quick. Um, I'm not gonna take this apart. If we have time at the end of stream, I might do a typing test on it. I could throw some caps on right now, but we're already at an hour and a half and I haven't even shown the build board yet. <laughs> so um, that's pure stealth. Yo, what up Kruger? Dude, this thing is sick. Check out that engraving, super subtle engraving on there. Dude, the anno on this is flawless. It's it's like butter smooth. Random keyboard typing test? Yo, dude, should I put some caps on this then and type on it for the random keyboard typing test? Damn. Dude, this thing's sick. All right, we'll take a look real quick. So... Obviously, if you guys are familiar with, with the 910, um, let me turn this up here. If you're familiar with the 910, you'll know that the original 910 uh, did have a seam. So we went to a um, kind of a seamless build here, right? Where the top piece does not have a seam. The seam is actually hidden underneath right here. So this uh, side profile is very similar to um, a Jane, like a Jane V2 side profile or a unicorn side profile. Boneyard. Oh, okay. I'll put Boneyard on this. I think Boneyard is the play. It looks like Doug Trio. Yo, that does look like Doug Trio. <laughs> Dude, this does look like Doug Trio. That's pretty funny. Like if these were, if these were eyes and a nose instead of X's, that would be Doug Trio. All right. Anyways, so side profile, pretty snazzy there. Front height, um, the front of this board, let's see here. It's a, it's a nice front height. I would say it's it's definitely on the lower end. Definitely like in my uh, in my book, um, this is a, a a very nice front height. It's not super super low, but it's it's not by any means tall. So I would say this is probably lower than a unicorn. Yeah, very nice. 
Random ass question, but what makes some anos smoother than others? <sighs> it, there are so many factors with... There's so many factors with anno. Uh, it, it really depends on kind of the um, the finishing of the board, how much they polish it, how smooth it is going into the anno tank, as well as how well of an anno job or um, kind of uh, substance they have inside the tank. So there's a ton of different uh, things that go into it. What's the one that isn't Boneyard, Wob, or Nines? I don't know. All right, let's take a look at the back here. Oof. 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 All right, we got we got to give that a little uh, a little clean, a little clean there. Yo. So if you guys are familiar with a TGR V2, Jane V2. Uh, am I, are you borrowing this board from Juby? This is, yes, this is the same one that you saw on Juby's. Um, so we do have that Toblerone here, right? We do have that Toblerone. We got the, uh, we got the GAF 910 on the side, right? On the back of the Toblerone right there. It looks like on this one, there's maybe some slight anno marks here and on the Toblerone. And let's take a look at the bottom. Oh my, dude. Dude, this thing is so classy. What? Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Dude, this thing is so classy. Wow. Dude, like, if, I, I know I said the derivative was meant for this desk mat, but if there's any board that's more meant for this desk mat, it's gonna be this one. Dude, this looks so freaking sick with the nest. Damn. So sick. Show the copper nest? Yo, there it is. <laughs> there's, there's the wombo combo right there. Wow. It, I honestly I, I swear I didn't plan that <laughs> all right so let's get this budger out uh, what do we have here so we do have a copper weight right so that is a copper drop through weight we do have that same uh, back plate here I believe it's aluminum I believe this back plate is aluminum so if you guys recall on the TGR Jane V2, this piece is stainless steel, right? On a lot of the commissioned unicorns, this is aluminum or stainless steel. This one is aluminum, right? Uh, if you look at the Jane V2 CE, this is gonna be carbon fiber. So it looks like this is anodized black aluminum, if I had to guess, I think that's what it is. Uh, we got TGR down here, we got 910 there. Um, we do have black screws, that is a super nice touch. Um, personally, I like that these ones are silver. I like that these are stainless steel screws here. It accents and matches very well with the Toblerone. And I do like how these ones are black and not stainless steel. I, I think this is the perfect amount of contrast. If these were both black, it'd be a little too muted. If these were both stainless steel, it'd be a little bit too much. So I, 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 I those are the little tiny details that I personally look at. And I think that that's perfect, right? Um, we do have that kind of um, almost almost like a shoebox design where the seam is hidden underneath the ledge, right? So you do have a shelf here, right? We do have a little shelf um, and the seam is hidden underneath, kind of similar to the IU, right? We have the GAF X TGR. If you guys aren't familiar with GAF, right here is GAF, right? Insanely talented artisan, um, creator, right? Um, I believe right now on some sort of a hiatus, but back in the day, amazing, amazing caps, very hard to find, very expensive, um, super limited. So, uh, Shuang Mu ran this desk mat and I believe Shuang Mu also ran this board, right? Let's take a look, close look at the bottom here.
So if you guys can tell, it looks like this is a pretty damn good match between the two. I would say maybe this back plate is like slightly darker, like very, very slight, very slightly darker than the case. Not enough to like annoy me by any means. At this angle, they look the same on with light. They're pretty damn similar. So one thing I, I did have one big complaint um, that looks like it was addressed on this board. And that is on a lot of um, the commission unicorns, as well as some other TGR boards I've seen, there aren't screws in the middle here, right? So it just has these corner ones, right? But what happens is when you put this back plate on here, it tends to bow in the middle. Right, so I did notice, uh, like on the Oscorn and the um, and the uh, the GSK McLovin corn, it does tend to bow right here. It'll go up a little bit, and you can kind of push on it because there's no screws in the middle. Uh, so I'm super happy that they added screws in the middle there. Super nice. We'll take a look at that USB port. Ryan told me he would send me an autograph headshot if I didn't buy a nest and I'm still waiting on it. What? Perfect. Looks looks very nice in there. Nice and high and tight. Give me it. Give me it. Up. Oh, up. Oh, there we go. Nice. Let's do a uh, cable check. Perfect. Uh, it was a promise I was gonna hang it up in my bathroom. <sighs> All right, you got it. I'll do that for you. Okay, so we're gonna put some caps on here real quick. And I gotta do a typing test at this point. Toy, like a toyga. Unicorn round one had screws in the middle on the underside. Did it really? So they changed that. Does the bowing affect the feel of the board or just appearance? So. So what I felt on the, um, with the bowing, what happens is, right, so the middle becomes bowed, it becomes bowed outward a little bit. So what happens is, because it becomes bowed outward, the middle portion of the board touches, and the bump-ons barely touch. So if you notice here, if I go like this, this is actually, so this one actually, sl like, slides quite a bit, and that's because the bump-ons are on do you see how, how tall the bump on is compared to this portion? So the bump on is actually barely touching the desk mat before this hits. So when it's on the desk, because it's so heavy, this ends up touching quite a bit. Does that make sense? So the bump ons don't really do too much. But on the, on the unicorn commissions, because it bowed, you could like spin it like that and it would just spin. <laughs> so this reminds me more of like, like the matrix, right? So let me grab a boneyard for this and I'll be right back. Oof, all right, we're back. Oh my yikes. I love sliding my 2.0 around. Agreed, I, 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 I definitely am not not a complainer about that. Let's see, what do we got? Ooh, 625. This is, dude. Dude, this is gonna be a nice. Wow, look at that. This is gonna look nice. Dude, I feel like I'm putting caps on like we're done with the build. This is a tease. Oh, <laughs> that pack space. <laughs> Dude, dude. 
Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Get it? Nine, ten? Yikes. want to see gmk dark on this that would look good as well wait there's still a build <laughs> don't worry don't worry i will still i will still get the build stream done before four hours uh we got super there focus here so we get it done quick 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 <laughs> keycaps on before too dude everyone that comes into stream right now is gonna think that we built this board tonight <laughs> they should know better they should know better bruh come on come on Last stream was a banger double build speed run slip line. Yo, dude, I um, I did I did give uh, when I went to go see Nightmare with Scott from Slander, um, I gave him his slip line and he like he loves it. So I'm pretty pretty hyped about that. Boneyard novelties are dope. I I do I when, with Boneyard I like just using these two. I think it's like the perfect amount. Single regular enter and regular step caps lock is greater than the skull. What? What? Send headshot, please. I'd say we should use no novelties on this one, just the plain caps. Maybe do a poll. Can we get a poll? I will, I will do whatever the majority says. How about that? No novelties. Dang. All right. It seems like it's pretty... Uh, all right. By the end of this, we should have our, uh, our answer. But... Um, not like the domino dice numero <laughs> i don't think i have that actually all right we're almost done here <laughs> the title of the poll which nice All right, we can throw delete there. We can throw, yeah, that's the right one. Uh, we'll do uh, page down. We'll just do delete and page down, make it easy. Or should we do page up? Uh, we'll do page up there. Page up, page down. Wait, it's the wrong page up. I 
I have a feeling this is going to be an expensive build for me. Dude, oh my god. Oh my god. This is like actually perfect. Holy. Holy. All right. What's the pull? Wow. Wow. It's okay, Zekin. We can both be upset together. Y'all y'all are just no no freaking fun. No freaking fun. What if I what if I can't find the enter? Ah. Wow, good stream. <laughs> Are we rating now? Dude, could you imagine? This is this is a democracy. Says Marx E. Marx is calling this a democracy. <laughs> was there a retail price on this one that we know of dude i honestly have if i had to guess if i had to guess a retail price i would think around like five or six hundred but i i literally have no idea so don't quote me on that i think it was 680 in china gb okay dude dude Wow. Yeah, I think Boneyard is the is the call on this one. Dude, that is a sick profile right there. <sighs> Did you find one of your own to buy, Ryan? <laughs> Dude, I um, I went back and forth with Juby quite a bit on this one, uh, but um, I, I definitely, I definitely cannot, cannot say that I, I was successful in securing this one. So classy. Is this, is this the smudge? This is the smudge you don't like? Done. super nice all right so as you guys saw this is uh it looks like cherry blacks on aluminum let's check it out wait is this yours or jubies i was curious if anyone else but him snag no this is jubies well the uh <laughs> was jubies i guess you could say The more you use it on board, sometimes I think about if I should have gotten extras. For Boneyard, 100%. 100%. Right about the Teja, the 910. All right, how about this? I'll give this board back when I get my Kaze, my wooden Kaze back. Deal? <laughs> this is gonna, you know, it's not my fault. You gotta, now you gotta take it up with Teja. Uh, no, but in, in all seriousness, um, it, it was jubies. All right, here we go. So aluminum, cherry blacks, gaff 910. Here we go.
So I um, spacebar goaded, 100% recommendation on the spacebar. Um, backspace solid as well. I would say the tab and the control or the tab and the cap sounds like slightly hollow, like slightly. Backspace, enter, spacebar, all very good. Is this top mount or gasket? Honestly, I uh, I think it's just top mount, right? I honestly don't know but I think it's just top now. Oh. All right, here we go. interesting i would say it it's it honestly it sounds very like very traditional i would say uh very clacky traditional cherry black sound um i will say that these these are these are pretty scratchy these are pretty scratchy um i would say definitely on the scratchier side of blacks You guys can probably hear it and, and I can tell, I can tell it's got, you know, you know, the films when the film gets caught, like you close a housing and the film gets kind of caught and then the stem hits it. Listen, this is normal. That's, that's, that's the, the uh, film. You hear it? Normal film. I think I think that was the only one, but it was throwing me off during the typing test. Oh, we got one more, one more here. Normal. Is it the film? Maybe it's just spring. No, it's the spring. Film looks good. Film looks good. So it's a spring. Maybe maybe the spring just doesn't have lube. Yeah, listen. Hopefully you guys can hear that. Other than that, other than that, it, it did feel pretty damn good. I like it. Uh, that's why you put every switch up to your ear and test before putting into the plate PCB. It is really why I do that. That is why I do that. But at any rate, yes, that's a perfect example of sp of spring crunch and ping. Exactly. So um, anyways, at the end of the day, I love this board. This is, this is the exact combo that I would go for. I've seen the lilac one. I've seen the red one. They're both too flashy for me. This is the exact colorway I would go for. Sounds pretty good. Um, if this were my personal board, I'd probably rebuild it uh, with, with OP Blacks. I do think this would sound, I think OP Blacks would, would, would really liven this up a lot. 
So I personally would rebuild it with OP Blacks if this were my board, but um, it does have a very traditional feel and sound to it with, with the Cherry Blacks. So anyways, that's the GAF 910. Um, this is a board that I have like had my eyes on for quite some time. Um, was never, never able to secure one, so I'm just stoked to have one in front of me uh, to check out and kind of evaluate. Um, I, I can safely say I am still just as excited to potentially get one in the future um, as I was before. So definitely does not let down. All right, we now have two hours to build a moment. That's plenty of time. Show you guys one more, one last look here. That dude's been trying to get rid of the lilac one for a while. I know, I know. I want to say he wants, <laughs> he wants six K for it, which to me is is a little bit steep. Definitely a little bit steep. How is this compared to your modern top mounts? Um, so interestingly enough, no, it does. It feels like a, a traditional top mount. It does feel like a traditional top mount. Yeah, nothing too crazy feeling. So anyways, one last look. Super classy. Got my fingerprints all over that now. What top mount does not feel like a top mount? Um, I would argue that key colts don't key colts to me don't feel like a top mount because of the leaf springs. I'm kind of angry with you guys. No one commented on my bed comforter. It's a brand new orange comforter. No one commented on it. Very disappointed. Dude, I think. They, they match the slippers like perfectly. <laughs> I swear it wasn't planned. <laughs> uh, so kind of like two, two boards that I have not built before, which are, um, uh, it's kind of surprising. I've never built a sat 75 and I've never built the Jaguar. What slippers are those? Dude, they're so comfy. I'll have to add those to my Kitco. Uh, but um, I, dude, I cannot for the life of me find out how to, <laughs> how to like monetize Kitco. So at this point, I don't really, uh, I'm not, I've given up on it, but I'm still gonna update it because I feel like I wanna show you guys um, all my stuff. So I don't make any money on my Kitco. Wait, is it exclamation kit? Rex, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how to link Amazon to it, but regardless, I'm still gonna update it because I want you guys to uh, to have that there. So anyways, check that out. <laughs> Lowell's, did you get a new comforter? All right, bud. <laughs> Yo, Rizma, I think I missed your sub earlier. I appreciate you. Uh, but anyways, let me, uh, I'm gonna hit the little boys room real quick and I'll be right back. All right, we're back. So, damn, I should buy those spudgers and host my own keyboard lessons. Is the bathroom treating him well? <laughs> what the? 
Switch. Which Switch? What's up, Wabu? I've tried the Jaguar and feel they felt la less top mount-ish. Interesting. So, um, real quick here, I know... Dude, I, I, I love the fact that, um, that you guys reach out to me on, on Instagram. I get so many people messaging me saying they bought Le Labo stuff or saying they bought, you know, such and such. And, uh, and they, they are super stoked that I, that I recommended it. So I think I'm going to keep hitting you guys with my recommendations for stuff that I, that I find and buy, uh, and that I like, um, I have recommended the Le Labo deodorant for quite some time. But I figure um, that one, I think that one does have aluminum in it. It's more um, scented. So it's very strong scented, uh, which almost strong enough to where uh, you don't really have to wear cologne. It's a steal for the price. But I would say if you want one that's more natural, doesn't have aluminum and has like a, a clean smell, like for the gym or something, I have been obsessed with salt and stone. Uh, this is my favorite scent the eucalyptus and bergamot. Um, it's 20 bucks. It's a little bit cheaper than the Santal one. Uh, but like I said, no, no, uh, there's no aluminum in here and, and it still is pretty strong. So I would say if you're, if you're a real, real, real stinky boy and, uh, and, and you need that aluminum antiperspirant, then get the Le Labo one. Or if you're like, if you want something that you can that you can wear out on like dates and stuff like that, get the Le Labo one. But I like to use this one uh, for every day. So, yo, moly moly, far quad, let's go, bud. Ryan Effect, can you recommend me a brand of water? And it'll, dude, dude, I've been loving this water. It's called Liquid Death. I don't. I'm terrible at drinking water. Terrible. I always need to drink more water. And for some odd reason, for some odd reason, I drink more water out of a can. So I'm not going to question it. A little bit cheaper than Santal. Isn't Santal 300? It is. So if you buy the Santal cologne, stupid expensive. But if you buy the Le Labo deodorant, the roll-on deodorant, it smells just like Santal and is 25 bucks. I have... I am convinced that they put that deodorant for $25 as a gateway drug because I it smells so good. It doesn't make any sense. It's way too cheap compared to everything else they sell. But once you buy that you're, and you love it so much, you're like, well, I kind of want to figure out what else they sell. And then everything else is expensive. So yeah, definitely. Dude, it sells out. It actually sells out because so many people buy it because it's such a good deal. Ryan thinks we date. Wow. <laughs> uh, I did get the Dr. Jart calming gel. Dude, that Dr. Jart's calming gel, still my favorite. It's, I, I, I hate when I put stuff on my face and then it looks shiny or greasy afterwards. And I feel like if I touch it, it's like slimy. The Dr. Jart's so matte. It's so matte. Their stocks are going to go through the roof now. <laughs> yeah. Where's my sponsorship? When it's in a monster can, your gamer instincts kick in. I really think so, but it's like, dude, it's such a tease. I feel like I'm going to get like a caffeine high after this, but I don't. It's nuts. My face gets so oily and it helps a lot. So what I have found out is the... <laughs> Yo, what's up, Midori? I fall behind on my sub one month at a time. It's okay. I, I forgive you. I heard someone in here was li was drinking liquid death. Dude, I love it. I love it. Last weekend, I just bought Tuberu set. Was not a fan of Santal. Really? I think you're the first person I've ever heard of that did not like Santal. <sighs> this is a keyboard or perfume, perfume lotion care. We're almost done here. We're almost done. I'm all, my, round, my rant is almost over. I had one, one closing statement and now I forgot. Oh, yes. So I'm convinced that... Um, when I don't hydrate my face, when I don't hydrate my face, I don't use lotion or serum or anything. I feel like my, my body naturally produces more oil, right? So, and then my face gets oilier and I break out more. But if I use, um, cleanser or I use, sorry, um, serum or creams, it, my oil keeps it in check. It's almost like, I feel like with, with, with shampoo, right? So with shampoo, if you, if you're constantly stripping all the oils and minerals from your hair, your body has to produce more and then you just keep stripping it. Right. 
So if you don't, if you don't use like a kind of like um, harsh shampoo or you don't wash your hair every night, over time you actually have less oily hair. So anyways, that's my rant. I just tuned in. Did you, did the unboxing end? It did, it did. It's right there, the board. Uh, just don't wash your hair, easy fix, yo. How often do you wash your hair? Um, I, I personally wash my hair every night because I put product in my hair. I don't like having product on my pillow and sleeping and then getting all over my face. So, I know some people are in like the no shampoo club though. So, no, that Napo, <laughs> Nopo, yes, the Nopo life is a great life, indeed, indeed. If I didn't use product in my hair, I would I would do the, the no shampoo. I'm gonna try out dip tea candles. I'm surprised you haven't already. I don't need payment for modding for you. I'll just swing by tomorrow and pick up the 910. All right, you're gonna have to uh, talk to whoever Juby traded uh, the 910 with. Shave your head, problem solved. I shaved my head for like a year straight before. It saved a lot of money. I've tried that because my hair is dry, but I feel too dirty. How long would you say it takes for the hair to accommodate to normal oil levels? I think it takes like at least a couple weeks. At least a couple weeks. Your hair is gonna be so oily for a couple weeks, for sure. Uh, or you can do what I do, uh, and that is you can you can wash your hair every night, but make sure that you have uh, a shampoo that has no sulfates and no phosphates, because that's really what strips your hair. So if you're using if you're just using a shampoo that has no no sulfates in it, that's a big step. So you can just do that as a, as a starter if you want. So, all right, on to the build. I put. I put all of my all of my big boy my big boy 60 uh, builds in my in my Zekin case. This is now a a, a Zekin uh, case because I put the sticker on it. Yo, what up, MF Doom? Thank you for the prime. What are you typing on? I usually strip before I get into the shower, but to each their own. <laughs> yeah, you guys you guys don't shower with your clothes on. You get naked. Banning him for the truth? Who got banned? <laughs> what shampoo do you use? I have it in my Kitco. It's the Olaplex one. I'm I'm washing me and my clothes. <laughs> All right, let's uh let's let's move the derivative here. So, like I said, huge 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 fan of the derivative. Um, it's it's definitely one of my favorite sixties I have ever had the pleasure of typing on. Um, so I'm hoping that the moment is uh is on that same tier. All right. Socks in the shower only. Oh my god, dude. I hate ugh. I hate the feeling of wet socks. Just like <laughs> Dude, okay. Please don't tell me you guys sleep with socks on. If we have anyone that sleeps with socks on in here, I think we should probably ban them. My first real custom frog TKL with MX blacks on aluminum. Yo, nice. What color frog? It moisturizes <laughs> what what your your socks trap in the sweat from your feet and it moisturizes your feet is that what you're referring to that's disgusting <laughs> dude if you sleep with socks just how dude I can't I can't honestly boss it was kind of inspired by profit so the mount was based on plastic but I had to offer alu Justin should I should I build this with the PP plate then I could what do you think? I only slept with socks when I'm heart heater. Well, I thought you said when you're heart when you're heartbroken. <laughs> I was like, that's kind of a weird correlation, but okay. Is it like a, a weighted blanket? It's super cold in my room. Please don't ban me. So that's all right. I'll let it slide. I'll let it slide. <laughs> what are your thoughts on palm versus PP? Both are nice. Both are nice. I'm a fan of palm and PP. So sad. Okay, should we pull it? All right, we'll do the unboxing. Raz or uh, or John, could you guys pull aluminum or PP plate? We are building with retool blacks. I sleep with my Crocs. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, okay, what about this? Dude, my biggest pet peeve is when you're staying in a hotel room and they take the the sheets and they, they like 
they put them, you know, you like pick up the mattress and then they tuck them underneath the mattress. So when I put my feet in, I feel like super claustrophobic. I'm just like, and I have to like rip, rip them out. Otherwise, like my feet feel like super claustrophobic at the bottom of the bed. I don't know. That's, that's kind of one of my pet peeves as well. Okay, bro. I don't even get the chance to mod. I hate it here. <laughs> Midori, you're supposed to read my mind. Come on. The tuck is a no-go. Never tuck. Yes, that's what, that's the word. The very fancy word I was thinking of. Tuck. There's a lot of PP builds need some aluminum. Oh, okay. So everyone else that built their moment, did they build it with the, with the PP plate? Does anyone else put the blanket under their feet and over their body? Never tuck mosaic, bad mosaic. <laughs> I'm going away from home for like two months. I do not know which one of my boards to take. The struggle is real. Yo, that's a first world problem. Give me, give me, the, give me the options. I'll help you out. PP tuck. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Ooh, I'm going to have some flashbacks of the, uh, of the seven V. I see. We have a oh my goodness. We have a lot of gaskets here. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have some flashbacks. Alright, what else we got? We got some bump-ons, some alignment pins, and some screws. So uh we do have some kind of like what looks like maybe plastic or Delrin columns. These are similar to um, like a key colt. The key colt has these. I'm assuming they're uh, alignment pins. Yo, age I'm 17. Hey there, guy. Yo, what's up, guy? Yo, shout out to my boy. <laughs> Fresh Basil. Let's go, bud. Just got a Pelican. Oh, oh, I see, I see. Take HHKB if you have it. Just get a Pelican off-brand. Dude, the Monoprice one is pretty nice as well. Uh, Sandy built the 7V. Yeah, but I put the freaking... Uh, I'm pretty sure I put these on, didn't I? If I recall. PP wins. Again? Oh my, you guys are so boring. I sleep stomach down on the bed with my head turned 90 degrees. Did you know? Did you know that the worst sleeping position is sleeping on your stomach? The best sleeping position is on your back. The, the, oh, I technically the worst sleeping position I think is on your, on your left side. Cause your heart is then on the left and then it has to pump up. Something like that. Some weird science behind it. Left side is the best side because no heartburn. <laughs> okay, right side is the worst. That's the one. Right side's the worst. Left side's the best. First, the worst. <laughs> I can't sleep on my back. I feel like I'm in a prison bed. Dude, you would never be able to sleep in one of those like mummy uh, sleeping bags when you're camping then. You're just exercising your heart more though. Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay, sleeping on my back makes me gassy? What the? <laughs> Yo, we're getting a little too personal in here. I thought the worst sleeping position was on your stomach. It is, that's what I said. You freaking dork. I'm just kidding, curse. Let's go, bud. Right side is the worst. Yes, okay, that's it. Right side's the worst. I sleep on my back and arms and legs are completely straight. Eyes fixated on the roof. Okay, all right. Y'all sleep? Dude, I sleep upside down like a bat. All right, bud. I sleep on my back, my arms and legs are, oh, I just, <laughs> We're getting hydrated. I gotta, I gotta tank this hard seltzer cause I've been, I've been nursing it. Mmm. 30 desk mats sounds pretty comfy. Are, um, Edgar, are you saying that you sleep on Teja's desk? All right, let's see what we got here. We have a PP plate, which it looks like we are building tonight. I wanna say the last PP plate I built was on the Prophet. Uh, we do have an aluminum plate as well. Obviously a lot less flexible. Um, Justin, is this black? Cause it, it almost looks like kind of, kind of dark grayish. I like it a lot. If it's just black, then it's black, but I almost, I almost feel like it's nicer than black. 
All right, I have gone ahead and pre-lubed the stabs for you guys. Um, I know you guys have seen me do TX stabs quite a bit, so I did it on my own. Is that yes to black or yes to uh, to gunmetal? So these are Luba 205 grade zero. Um, nothing, nothing crazy going on here. Um, something that uh, is interesting about this board. Um, it requires a, a um, an H60 with a uh, a north. Was it the north facing wire, Justin, that we needed? Or what was the issue with the, with the other H60? I can't imagine sleeping in space. They sleep floating straight up in sleeping bags. <laughs> the alu plate is dark gray. The PP is black. Okay, got it. So we got dark gray and black. Dark gray, black. Mm. Oh, it's the enter stab. That's supposed to be south facing. Got it. So, um... The, uh, the moment Justin, I believe, is still waiting on some PCBs. Thankfully, um, I have this PCB, which I think a lot of you probably have not seen yet. Um, this one does have a south-facing wire, so we can use it for the build tonight. Does anyone know what PCB this is? I have a friend that does CNC in Semicon. Do you think I could design a keyboard myself, or is it too expensive to proto? If your friend does a CNC, then uh, I can't imagine it'd be any more expensive. I would definitely check it out. So that'll give you guys a little bit of a hint, a hint right there of what's to come. Be so zealous and Makibo. So we do have a, a JST right here, which um, I believe is in the exact same position um, as the H60. Therefore, we can we can use this PCB tonight, right? <laughs> oh, it's a GK61. Okay, bud, I've seen it. I have one. Yo, this guy, pretty cool. Very stealthy. Um, no Alp support. I'm a fan. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, pretty mellow. Oh, Sandy's here. Be on your best behavior. Hero. Cheers, Sandy, if you want to crank, uh, crack out the wine. Crack open the wine. Ah, that's free real estate. The DZ60. How does polypropylene plate compared to other poly plates? Dude, that's a good question. Um, I've honestly only ever built one board with a PP plate and that was the profit. So, um, I don't, I don't exactly know how, how this differs from PC. I think, I think if I recall correctly, it's a little bit, um, like a little bit poppier. On any day, oh, get out of here. <laughs> PP is apparently softer. Interesting. This this does feel kind of similar to like an um wipe plate. So maybe it's a little bit deeper sounding too. Bend test. It's very bendy. Almost as bendy as a as an um wipe plate. Hey Sandy, sorry for calling Sandy one more time. Quapa, she just forgot about that. Come on. I heard PP is more dampened than polycarbonate. Okay, interesting. We're definitely gonna find out tonight. PP is softer. <laughs> All right, bud. Did you do that on purpose? <laughs> have you tried the Ashland Bellinger Bomb? No, I haven't. Is that is that the same as this, but a different flavor, or what? Wow, Quapa, you're getting on Sandy's bad list. You don't ever want to be on that. All right, and lastly. They sell them in stores now too. If you come across it, check it out. Yo, I will. Woo. That is that is pure silver. Pure silver, my friends. Pure silver. Woof. Woof. 
Wow, holy. <laughs> Dude, it is pretty, pretty holy looking, huh? All right, so just so you guys know, um, the board we're building tonight is The Moment. Um, this is by JJW or Justin. He also did uh, the derivative, which is, like I said, one of my favorite 60s. So I'm pretty hyped on this board to build it tonight. Um, he also did probably what you're even more familiar with, which is the uh, the cloud line. Okay, so all three pretty pretty sick boards. FYI, Jinte has PP plus MS Black, PP plus MX Black build sound type on YouTube. Maybe if you listen to that and it's too harsh, you can do Alu. He already did that one. Then we should do Alu. I think we should do aluminum if there's already been a PP plus black. What do you guys think? PP plus black. That sounds odd. I'll take it off your hands when you're done. <laughs> Yo. All right. We're going to go alu. I didn't know there was this exact build already before. So we'll do aluminum. We'll do aluminum. Let's let's do a little, uh, a little check here. Is this silver brighter than the nerd nest silver? Dude, uh. They're di I would say this is actually a little bit more matte than the Nerd Nest Silver. What do you guys think? This is super hard to do without hitting them together. Oh, that was too hard, too hard, too sketch. That's a nice silver on the nest. Yo. All right, maybe we should, we'll swap out the nest now. We gotta, we gotta do a nest to match the build, right? The light makes it hard to tell. It really, yeah, this is like, I would say it's like a different, maybe I'll compare at the end. It's gonna be hard to show you guys silvers on the light, but um, they're pretty similar actually. Can we see the weight? You can. All right, we'll do it. We'll do an unbuilt weight here. <laughs> you just started. I've um, I I started the stream two and a half hours ago, actually. But um, as far as the uh, the build, yes, I just started. All right, so this is gonna come in at uh, three pounds, almost even, or almost 1400 grams right actually <laughs> all right a big fan of justin's boards and super excited for cloud line to come in yes same if you guys recall i um i built a cloud line and i think that was one of my most viewed streams i think i averaged like almost 500 viewers on that stream which is pretty crazy Wing of a Vest Mat. I've done it on both. It doesn't really affect too much with this scale. All right. Let's take a look here. So this is the moment, right? So this was run by Justin um, quite a bit ago. I want to say this was part of... Are you giveaway 500 plus? Yo. Um, this one has a special engraving on it. Um, it'll be a little bit different than the actual GB unit. But uh, I'll start going over some of the features here. So obviously we have, obviously we have wing keyless here. Um, interesting as well. So the derivative has um, a big cherry lip, right? So the cherry lip is going to be that that front little ledge right here. I'm going to show you guys because I definitely noticed some design language here. So on the derivative we have a a big cherry lip that turns into a small cherry lip and then back to big again. You guys see that? Uh, the moment almost has like a cherry lip on the side that goes from big to small, right? So very similar uh, design language there, right? Um, has that on the sides, no cherry lip on the front or the back, obviously. Um, we do have wind keyless, like I said. Um, it looks like we have JST uh, connectors gonna go here with um, the routing of the cable going underneath the board and then over to the, um, the daughter board, which is going to sit right there, right? We do have JJW right there. We have moment. And then this one has a special engraving on it, which says, thank you for sharing this moment. I'll show you guys that real quick. 
There it is. All right. Ryan's in trouble. Wow. So second build on our any night. All right, folks. I'm giving away my crimson nerdness. <laughs> This is not the second build. I did not build the board already. Oh my. If you were watching uh, the stream earlier, then you would know I didn't build the board already. All right. So that's pretty much all that's going on for the top. Let's take a look at the front. Um, another interesting portion of this board is kind of similar to, I think the frog is like this. And there, there are a couple other boards as well. Um, where he kind of draw or the petrichor that's what it was the petrichor was similar to this uh in a sense that um instead of just having a seam he kind of draws your eyes um to the seam right so let me show you guys what i'm talking about here it's, it's an exaggerated seam is what i like to call it right you guys see that so that exaggerated seam goes obviously all around um, and then we come to kind of the biggest design feature of this board, and that is this like huge fillet right here. Is that how you pronounce petrichor? Yes. Uh, I think the frog does that too, no? Yeah, the frog has that as well, right? So, um, pretty slick there. You have a huge fillet instead of like, basically there, there would be a shelf here, and then there's a big fillet in the middle of it. Pretty cool. Right, it's not super deep. Maybe like a like a finger deep. Right, pretty nice. Um, and then let's take a look at the back, which I think this is actually my favorite part of the board. And that's going to be a um, a weight that basically has a Toblerone built into it. Yo, what's a Manoli? What's a Manoli? Um, and this one has these special engraving that's which is what i was talking about so um this one has this this like these moon phases right here um to my knowledge this is not going to be on the gb unit this is kind of like a, a special engraving right and then we have a, a line here and a line there let's take a look dude so clean so clean so it looks like we got some some moon phases right there and then oh and then like a heart is that a heart in the middle of the of the middle moon super classy All right and then that leads us to the bottom aka the uh the portion where i gotta be careful of where i point it so you guys don't uh dox me Super nice. Yes, sir. First ever board. So sentimental. Nice. So this was designed before the cloud line is what you're saying. Buy followers, primes, and viewers on viewers.shop. Dude, I already buy it on that. Why are you, why are you advertising to me? I'm happy to own one. A beautiful board. Yo, Z Lobby, what'd you build yours with? Dude, so clean. There's my there's my overhead cam, and then I have a an overhead light right there too. We should give away a nerd nest to the scam bot. <laughs> we should we should say uh, we should say that he won and he has to claim it. Pretty cool. All right, let's do a closer look here. Dude, come on, come on, come on. Dude, my camera, there we go. Super nice. So you have a, obviously a super clean engraving right there. We have two screws on each side. Looks like we got black screws. Lowell's, is this sandblasted or polished stainless steel? So we have a, a polished stainless steel 
and then uh, inside where it's in, oh my goodness, where it's engraved, it's gonna be sandblasted, or it's gonna look sandblasted, more matte, right? Extras after I get tiny PCBs in so I can ship the remaining units, nice. Uh, where are the extras gonna be held, Justin? Live in the moment, yo. All right, pretty cool here. So um, one thing I noticed about this board also is um, it's kind of similar to a Jane V2 in a sense that uh, the screws uh, up here are actually hidden beneath the Toblerone. So we're gonna open up the case by undoing these four screws and then there's gonna be screws hidden. I believe there's one, two, three underneath the weight. So we're gonna have to take these out, remove the weight, and then remove those screws, right? Show thee the inside of your, dude, I have a hilarious, I have a hilarious story. So, so today, it's funny you said that because today Sandy told me that I had nose hairs that were so long that they were extending out of my nose. So I bought a nose hair trimmer that you like stick it up your nose and it just like, shh. so I used that today. So um, if I, if I were to show you the inside of my nose any day, it would be today. Is that painful? No, it's not actually. Plugging in the JST seems like it's gonna be hard. Yes, I have a tutorial on that, so it'll be interesting. You made it this long without a nose hair trimmer? No, I, actually, sorry, I already had one, I just used it today. So, uh, Justin said, uh, da, da, da. I know Justin has in stock raffle units. Definitely join his Discord if you're not already in it. And um, we, Oh, I need a daughter board. I have one. I'll go grab one. But let's take the board apart first. Yes. Oh, yes. Because we want to test the PCB. I'll be right back. Oof. All right. Uh, what's differentiate mom what differentiates a moment with the derivative except the design? Uh, the mounting system is completely different as well. Okay, so. So, go boom. Um, the bump ones are already on, so we don't have to mess with that. Uh, let's install the uh, daughter board here. All right, so we're gonna unscrew these four bottom screws here. Extras I'll probably throw up on Shopify or do a raffle, nice. I would assume the uh, best place to stay up to date would be your Discord, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove those four first. And then we are going to remove these four screws on the weight. Same screwdriver, or hex rather. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna basically turn the board upside down, let the weight drop out. Take a look at this weight real quick, actually. Whew. So obviously the uh, the inside of the weight's just pure mesh. Wow, dude. <laughs> I actually love the look of the unfinished weight. That's sick. It's almost Kikol esque in there, huh? Right. So we do have uh, we do have routing right here for the uh, the JST cable, and then we're gonna mount the uh, daughter board there. Um, so let's do that real quick. Oof. I'm gonna put this one back. That one, the silver nest is just the silver nest is just too blinding. 
uh, let's, let's, uh, ooh, we're gonna have to use the JST cable as well. Hmm. Let's try, I'm gonna go with this black one first. Should be a good length or should we? Yeah, we'll go with the black one first. All right, so I'm basically going to, uh, I'm gonna test the PCB before we put it into the board. Uh, obviously because I am using a different PCB and a different daughter board. That looks crazy, Yo, right? Those machining marks are nice, reminds me of barbed wire, right? Reminds me of kind of like a key cult. All right. Okay, good noise, good noise there. Um, let's do Firefox. I'm gonna go over here to PCB test. And uh, this is where we hope for the best. To, is this via uh, let's see I hope this is via otherwise we might have to split the backspace huh not uh. nice it is via okay cool so I'm gonna go to layouts turning off split backspace and Key mapping the backslash back to where it should be. And backspace. Okay, cool. So I just remap that there. Let's try it out again. Backspace is now working. Good. I believe I'm the first person to build a moment with this PCB. Um, I, I did speak with Justin beforehand and it looks like it will fit. Um, but uh, I guess you never know, but it should, it should be good because this is based off of an H60, right? All right, looks like our PCB is solid. Get that out of the way, cool. Can we get the Josh key tester? <laughs> Dude, I need to figure out how to use that one. Um, yes, this is the RS60 PCB, right? Okay, so PCB is solid, daughter board is solid. So I'm gonna put those aside for a second here. And uh, I'm going to put the daughter board into the PCB, daughter board into the weight. Have you ever used a HAD 60? I have not, I have not. How are those? All right, so we got Phillips. Ooh. No idea, haven't used one. <laughs> okay, dude. Yo, what's up, Darian? Are you in, uh, are you in Seattle? So whenever I am installing a daughter board, I don't like, a lot of the time there is a little bit of play on daughter boards, right? Um, so I don't tighten the first screw all the way tight. What I'll do is I'll put the first one in and then I'll put the uh, the next corner in, right? I'll put that one in, then the corner, and then I'll tighten it all the way. And then I'll put the other two in. I just got home, I DM'd you earlier, when? Jinte used a HAD 60 in his purple K. Who makes the HAD? All right. 
And then after I install a daughter board, I always want to just double check. Wow. Wow. That is super tight. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Look at that. Come on. It's too shiny to focus on. Oh, there's my fan. <laughs> Dude, come on. That is... That is super, super nice tolerance there. All right, cool. Docks your ceiling fan. <laughs> How do you like that Logitech mouse? Do you use it to game at all too? I do. This is the um, the Shroud Logitech G. Such a weird shaped mouse, but for some reason, I love it. Takes a while to get used to though. Okay. So let's put the weight aside for a bit. And like I said, what happened to your Sim 2? I, I, dude, I, I fell in love with this one. I bought this one shortly after and I was gonna keep whichever one I liked more. I ended up keeping both, but this one surprised me. Can we see the blue nerd nest? Yes, you can. Okay, so uh, like I stated earlier, we removed these four screws. Now we're gonna remove this one here, this one in the middle, and then this one up here. Look at that. Those are those are definitely definitely hidden. Look at that screw. That's kind of crazy. Is this going to be a raffle? Um, Justin, what format is the is the moment going to be? Yo, what's up, Frostfire? How do you like that? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Doxing your ceiling fan. <laughs> okay. Let's take... Top case off. Pretty standard there. Uh, I won't go too into detail, but we do have some uh, gas gasket placements that we're gonna be doing. We have fairly large alignment tabs. Um, you can see those kind of better on this one here. So we have pretty fat alignment tabs on the sides. Um, it looks like Justin maybe pre-installed these uh, alignment pins. So you have alignment tabs, right? These alignment tabs are for the top case to align with the bottom case. But then you also have these tabs, which are going to, I believe, uh, make sure that the plate is properly aligned within the case, right? So you got one on each post. This is what people would say it was like, kind of like a post mount, like the profit, right? Are you still playing sewer people? Yes, I am. Whenever I have a little bit of spare time, I play Super People. Um, maybe we do the gaskets first, huh? Let's take a look. So Justin sent this over. Uh, gasket strip placement. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys on here and then I'll do it on screen. Uh, but um, it looks pretty straightforward, just so you guys can see there. Wait, does this one say limited run? Oh, it does. Yo, I didn't even see that. Right? Uh, check this out. I didn't even notice this, but it does say uh, limited run of 50. Right there. That's kind of cool. I've never seen a, a case engraved on the seam like that. Okay. So let's do the bottom case first looks like it's a little bit more intensive i'm gonna do this pretty quick with my uh tweezers here all right so we obviously are going to be putting the long ones also um i am a huge fan of gaskets being on this like almost like polycarbonate material I hate when gaskets are basically cut within the same gasket material. 
and they're like almost impossible to peel off or if they have like a paper backing i end up peeling the gasket off and then like leaving the adhesive so i like this style a lot we might not even need I'm not even gonna need the tweezers. All right, <clears throat> those are done. Now we got two on the sides, but that's gonna be on the top. So we got these tiny ones, these tiny ones here. I could use the, the tweezers for that. Cool. All right, so just to show you guys what I did there. So we have larger gasket goes in there. You have a tiny one next to the post as well. All right. And we have four more on the bottom. It's gonna be uh, most are porn or EVA, some silicone, but I don't like silicone as much. Yeah, I think these are what? These are pour-on, I would believe. Toby the Tobester, let's go, bud. I hate when the gasket material is literally just foam. I know. I know. Yo, Krieger with the tier one for 18 months. Let's go, dude. What are you typing on? What are you typing on, Krieger? I gotta know. Cool, I didn't miss a build. I was gone for a while. <laughs> yeah, definitely uh, iPhone. All right, what's on your desk? Sat 75. Dude, I haven't built mine yet. What did you build yours with? I, I kind of want to do, I kind of want to do, uh, I have an FR4 plate. So I think I'm going to do maybe Pinocchio's on FR4. Pinocchio's on FR4, maybe, uh, maybe some Gats on a, no, I think Pinocchio's FR4. All right, all the gaskets are done there. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, and now we have just, just side gaskets on the, on the bottom case. Show you guys real quickly here. So we did all the top here. On the bottom case, there's just these, or sorry, top case, there's just the sides, right? So nothing, nothing over here, which is kind of interesting, right? A lot of gasket boards are like isolation gasket mount. So it's like, an, it's like, a, it's like a gasket sandwich. Um, but on this one, it's actually the opposite, right? So there's, there's gaskets on the top in the middle and there's gaskets on the, uh, sorry, on the, uh, top and bottom of the bottom case and then the sides of the top case, right? All right. Uh, can you still get Pinocos anywhere? I don't think so. I don't think so, actually. They should be reran. I love Pinocos. Okay. Easy. And easy there as well. Show you real quick. My gasket job. Looks good and looks good. Cool. All right, gaskets are done. I think he just gave me a ton of extras, which is always nice. Um, so this is basically gonna sit like that. Interesting. All right, 
So we can put this aside for now. I'm gonna move oof, the derivative. I'll put this up here. And I'll put this aside. Oh, all right. Uh, I believe it's time to put some switches in. Dude, did you guys see what happened to the bongo market? I had no idea. I'm like, I'm not really into, uh, resin that heavy but it looks like um bongos dropped quite a bit in price i just smacked a seller spider and it go splatter on the wall what's a seller spider uh you have a red gasket don't you when are you gonna build that um i actually don't have a red gasket i traded it like a long time ago <laughs> uh before the gb delivered so i actually already sent it out i know they're like 200 wow Wow, same as the daddy long leg. Dude, aren't the daddy long legs the ones that like kill kill other spiders? Gasket stream soon. Yes. So even though even though I traded off my gaskets, traded it off, um, I am going to be building cursed cursed gasket. I have it here. Um, I'm just gonna I'm grabbing the switches from him this weekend. And then um, hopefully I can build the gasket next week. Honestly, I think I should look for some now. Dude, Pinocos are fire. Pinocos are fire. My favorite JWK, I would say. OP Blacks and Popus are sick too. Nice, dude. This, this plate, these switch cutouts are very nice. All right, so I'm gonna put a couple in here, make sure we have, like I've said prior, an even playing field. And then we're gonna test the stabs. We lived in a house for a short time where I woke up with brown recluses in my bed. Some were alive and some were dead. I think I have arachnophobia now. Yes, I would probably have arachnophobia after that. Can we just can we just admire the switch the spacebar cutouts on the derivative real quick? All right. Perfect. All right, stabs are done. Easy peasy. They were all over the place growing up in Georgia. Dude, we don't really have too many spiders, I would say in California. At least where I'm at. Not too many. I have an FR4 plate for my unicorn and an extra PCB, so I've been wanting to try Pinocos. That would be fire. I would I think you would love that build. Uh Pinocos are also uh sorry, OP Blacks and Popus are also super nice in the unicorn. I guess Justin is saying that you have to split. Oh no, we could have we could have put a shift there actually. We actually could have, but who does that? I 
are you using the all holy tx stabs tonight we are we are indeed we are indeed i will i will use <laughs> i'm actually running kind of low on my tx stabs now i'll have to uh i'll have to stock up again soon just got back how is it so far pretty pretty solid no no hiccups knock on wood thus far Are we, uh, what part of Cali are you in? I'm in Northern San Diego. Yo, I'm in, uh, I'm in Orange County. So, uh, not too far from you. Do you think marshmallows on FR4 or polycarb would be better? Marshmallows are, are those JWK? They are, right? Latwin, first time ever? Oh my God. I need to check my email. No win, boys. No win. I did not win. <laughs> Dead gun it. I won two first lat raffle ever joined. What the? Wow. You guys all got the dubs except for me, huh? Uh, they weren't any in that goodie bag from popcorn. No, there weren't. <laughs> My four boxes are sitting, waiting for GBs. What four boxes? Nylon, JWK. I, I personally would put them on FR4. Wow, dude, what the? Maybe, you know, maybe, maybe they're just, maybe all the invoices aren't out yet. Okay, okay. Dude, it's uh, it's kind of nice. Uh, I usually don't really stream on fr on Fridays, but it's it's kind of nice knowing I don't have work tomorrow. All right, switches are almost in. Then we got soldering time. We are, oh yeah, we got an, we got an hour. We got an hour to mess around. Um, I do have a, a, a 300 gram <laughs> razor green leaf typing test to do. I saw that redemption, so don't, uh, don't think I am not up to the challenge. Oh my lord, first time ever they rarely run when I'm awake. Dude, I'm the issue that's that's the issue for me too. Um Lat or Meka used to uh she would run the the lat raffles from like eight to nine AM for me. And I, I usually don't wake up that early, so I missed like every single one. Okay, pretty good. Stealthy build here. Let's take a look. That's weird. Meka didn't send my invoice yet. <laughs> should I should I DM Meka and say hello? Uh, I don't think I got my invoice yet. Are you going to TwitchCon 2022 San Diego, dude? I'm uh I'm pretty pumped about TwitchCon. I've never been before. Apparently there's some like there's like a cool like partners only section. I don't know how that's gonna be, but um, I'm I'm keen on checking it out. I'll trade you my cat for that black brass nest, dude. Uh might take you up on that <laughs> i actually really wanted that all pink lat it was so nice dude it was it was a very nice like rosy pink i won the pink arrows changa did you seriously just come in here to make me feel bad i think the holiday sales are long are open longer Yo. today's went 9 a.m to 8 p.m ah yo mosaic dude i have two mineral redemptions okay um, Raz or John, can you please remind me to do a mineral redemption, um, uh, after the typing test? Can you send proof? Wow, Kiazo's calling you out, Chong. Okay. 
let's double check our pins here. We don't want any bent pins. These have been these have been desoldered before, so uh, I always like to double check. I do. Um, let's see. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Although, wow. So these cherry switches do have legs, but these legs are not super tight on the PCB. So I'd have to be kind of conscious of that. But we should be good. All right. Oof. Did he actually post proof? I don't see proof. I don't need to post proof. All right, we, you know, Chong, Chong's a stand up guy. He doesn't need to post proof. Come on, come on. Are you freaking serious? Steve Madden, are you joking my ass? Dude, I already need a haircut. My hair is not cooperating today. And you do this to me. Ah, it's a free real estate. I haven't had a haircut in almost two. Dude, what the? More alcohol. All right. I'll grab the soju for that one. BRB. Is that liquid death? It sure is. You can bet your bottom dollar. All right, we're back. That's a nice looking soldering station. Dude, I, I absolutely love this soldering station. It was 15 bucks on Etsy and it's money. I got the goodies. All right, so we do have, as you guys know, some Jinro Blue Bottle Soju compliments of Huru. I will be taking uh, one shot of this out of my shot glass that I got in Amsterdam when I was visiting Cone. Cheers. For someone who's never had soju, how would you describe it? Okay. The best way I can describe soju. It's like taking a shot of vodka but the bite from the vodka never comes. Like, you know when you taste up, you, you, you drink vodka, shot of vodka, and you're like, oh, this isn't that bad. And then the second you breathe, you're like, <clears throat> like you cough, like it burns your throat. I feel like soju, you take a shot and you're waiting for it to burn, but it never does. So that's, that's the best way I can describe soju. Watered down rubbing alcohol. Is that an H Mart sticker if I, I have ever seen one? <laughs> What? This isn't H Mart. Oh. This is clearly from Mitsuwa. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. I need I needed a little bit, a little sugar. Alright. I got I got a uh When is the giveaway? At the end. I didn't want to put giveaway in the title so we don't get any uh draw too much attention. I'm about to go to Mitsuwa, North Jersey tomorrow morning before twice in New York. Yo. Is that the sus boards? Dude, I think it is. It's the Chongasaurus. Oh, I did I did have a uh a 
All right, Steve, I will let you choose. Are we going? Are we going Timo hat? Or are we going Baby Yoda? Porque los dos. If he doesn't respond, I'm going Baby Yoda. <laughs> What's up, Linda? Classic Timo. Wow. Wow. Okay, fine. Shoot, I was going to say, uh, Oh, okay. You know what I found out the other day? I was thinking to myself, it's called H Mart, but it's a Korean market. So why don't they call it Kmart? But then I was educated on why it's an H. Do you guys know why it's H Mart? It's Hongol. It's Hongol Mart. Because <laughs> Hongol is Korean. In Korean? Yeah. Kmart already exists. Okay, Draxian. Get the frick out of town. Korean Mart sounds like a store you go to buy Koreans. <laughs> <laughs> what soldering iron do you use? I use the TS-100. Alright, here we go. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to be pushing down on the PCB just to make sure that we get a, uh, so that the switches are fully seated. Do you guys ever, uh, you ever solder on, uh, on PCBs? And like some PCBs, your solder sticks to the, um, the switch and the hole like perfectly, but then others, it kind of just like floats on it. This one kind of floats a bit. Are you ambidextrous? Uh, yes, I am. I'm like all over the place. I'm all over the place. I, um, I, I write with my left hand. These look good. I don't think we need to, uh, yeah, we're chilling. Yeah, this one's kind of floating on the PCB. Interesting. So I, I write with my left hand. I kick with my left foot. I throw with my right hand. I bat with my right righty. I play pool righty. Um, I shoot with my right hand. I play basketball righty. I skateboard goofy. Ryan, we are the same, but like opposite in some things. <laughs> I only do one thing with my left hand. Okay, bud. Goofy gang, let's go. Dude, I, uh, I, I sat, I, I've been a skateboarder all my life. 
Okay. Uh, I used to I used to always go to skate parks. I grew up skateboarding. For some reason, I was never able to kick. Ha! Huh, that's kind of a pun. But kick pushing with pushing Mongo. I I skate and I kick Mongo, which is a no. It's a it's it's a bad bad habit. Mongo. I'm Mongo and Goofy. It's really bad. I refuse to write on top of the spiral notebook. Dude, that's the worst. Lefty is the worst. I used to be pretty good at skating. I could see that. Were you more of a street or vert? I was more of a street skater. So, uh, you know, the worst thing about being left handed in school um, is all of the desks, all of the desks in like high school. Um, they, they go they go right and then left so basically you're writing you're writing with your left hand but your elbow is like in space right you don't have you have to like lean left lean right and then right uh, but in college when you're in an auditorium they have all the left-handed seats on the left side so you got to make sure you get one of those if you're left-handed Hello? Yo, I'm streaming right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I'll call. You want me just to call you after? Uh, okay, peace. <laughs> that was, uh, that was Scott wanting to talk about keyboard stuff. Did I miss the gaff 910? Uh, yes, you did. I unboxed it more towards the beginning. The struggle is real. Left-handed people fight for those seeds. Dude, they really do, for sure. Um, I mean, nowadays, I feel like most people take notes on a laptop, so it's not a huge deal. I personally, I like taking notes by hand. Oh, Scott. <laughs> I almost died dropping in the last time I skated and swore off it for life. Dude. If you've never dropped in on a skateboard, it's so scary. You have to commit. You have to commit. I don't remember more if I write it rather than type it. Yeah. Dude, I am not I am not liking the soldering experience on this PCB. The the solder just floats on top. It doesn't stick to the uh I mean obviously it's still gonna work fine, but I don't like when it floats, you get more bubbly solders. And uh, it's just it's just not pretty. Is there a set raffle date for the 910 yet? Not that I'm aware of. I have three screws in my ankle after ollieing an eight stair, dude. I, uh, I have 12 screws and a two inch plate in my ankle um, after basically doing a handrail down a vert ramp. Dude, I had to have that, I had to have that boot in 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 uh in middle school for so long that was the most annoying thing ever having that stupid ass boot never broke a bone damn i've heel flipped off a seven stair 
and the skateboard went up my butt. Hey, hey, Chong, Chong, is the skateboard still up your butt? Because that would explain a lot. <laughs> Damn, Ryan got a kiss of makeup now. <laughs> it's okay. Just, just give me, just give me your last that you just won, and uh, and uh, I, I won't, I won't uh, bring that up again. I wish I could zoom in. I don't think I've ever soldered on a PCB before that was like this. Uh, it's, 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 I would say it's frustrating, but it's, it's not like frustrating in a sense that like, it's almost impossible to get a perfect peak on your solder. Like, no, I'm not going to be able to show you guys. Like it's literally sticks to the tip and does not go onto the PCB. Super frustrating. Uh, lats are your favorite resins. I would say uh, my top three, because I'm not like super into uh, like the insanely high end artisans. Um, I do like lats, kiwis, and bongos. You know, obviously, if uh, if I had the bankroll for it, I would be, you know, swimming in gaff and last pilots but uh i i never really went down the artisan um slippery slope dude i hate this your mod is loaded with gaffs and bongos? Is he? <laughs> how come, how come? Actually, you know what? I bought a bongo off of him. I bought the strawberry bongo off of him. Although, I think it's probably worth a lot less now. <laughs> That actually, Jihos, he's just borrowing them. <laughs> Wait, dang, really? Yeah, dude, apparently, uh, apparently all the bongos dropped. Everything counts is scammed. <laughs> Like what's uh what what would you guys say strawberry bongo is worth now? Like maybe like high twos three hundred? Why did Drongo, <laughs> Drongos, why did Bongos drop all of a sudden? Uh, basically all the recent ones, because they, because they've been, from what I heard, the quantity has been upped quite a bit. It's played out, yeah. 50 cents, wow. <laughs> wow. I was gonna say maybe it's because it's because of deadbeats. Maybe I missed them, but it feels like no bongos have run recently. I think hype transferred to rubber hose. I gotcha. All right, we're almost done here.
All right, and we are done. That definitely took a little bit longer than usual. Um, for some odd reason, the solder wasn't... Oh, we got one more. For some reason, the solder was not wanting to stick to the PCB on this one, uh, or at least very well. Usually, it like suctions to the PCB. This one, it kind of just floated on top, and if I remove my soldering iron, then it, then it dried. All right. BBW is like five units and 500 each. Are they really that low quantity? Have you tried pewters? And if you have, would you recommend yes and yes? Simple answer is yes and yes. All right, I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna uh, hit the little boys room real quick and we will wrap this up. Okay, and we're back. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I've heard anyone say they won a BBW since Dallas Party. One does not simply win a B... Dude, some people have fat BBWs. All right, let's see here. All right, so, so the peaks don't look as bad um, as I had thought. They just didn't feel very good. But it's looking pretty solid here. Let's uh, let's give it a little testy. Ooh, lives in a pineapple under the sea. Exorbent and yellow and porous is he. Some people have fat BBWs. I know, I thought that sounded pretty funny. All 
All right. Look at that. Our keyboard is built. Uh, I have used pewters on brass and FR4. FR4 was much better. I used pewters on... Ba, 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 ba. I think brass. I think it was brass and I liked it. This needs to be kind of what moved over a little bit, huh? Is that better? Maybe a little more. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, uh, what are we doing here? We are hitting up the Firefox and I'm clicking on that. I'm doing a refresh. Oh, plug it in, duh. And it would appear that I officially know how to solder a keyboard. Cool. All right. Now, I do want to show you guys, congrats. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I do want to show you guys there is a moment quick and dirty build guide. Okay, so run through this with me. Uh, we are going to build the keyboard as normal. We're doing great so far. Important, all caps. Just like the uh, Valorant guy says, all caps, connect the JST cable to the PCB first. Guess what? Freaking done. Insert the JST cable connected to the PCB through the bottom case. All right. I will, uh, I will hide this momentarily. All right, so we are connect, so we're running this through here. Okay. Insert the JST cable connected to the PCB through the bottom case. Freaking done. Place the build onto the bottom case, ensuring that the plate falls between all of the alignment pins. Okay, sounds easy enough. Now we have to do the part where we ensure that they fit Boom. Boom. Boom and boom. Cool. All right, so let me show you guys real quick here. So those alignment pins are now above the plate. See that? Make sure on all four corners, apply directly to the forehead, head on. All right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, now, Place the top case into the, place the top case onto the bottom case. Boom. Wow, that silver and black. Flip the entire keyboard over and screw the seven screws in. I'm gonna hold it down while I do this. Okay. Apply directly to the forehead, head on. Dude, I think I've said that in so many streams, but no one, I don't think anyone's ever got it. <laughs> Instructions unclear. PP stuck between top and bottom case. <laughs> How to remove PP from top and bottom case. Okay, is that Tony? <laughs> Okay, done. Flip uh, with the case back on the table and the weight sitting on the table, connect the JST cable to the daughter board. Killing it, absolutely killing it. Important, all caps. I find it easier and safer 
We don't want to lose any fingers here. To keep the weight sitting on the table while moving the keyboard over the weight in order to tuck the JST cable into place. Got it. Important. Lower the keyboard case onto the weight carefully after aligning the and tucking the JST cable. Okay. So it sounds like I'm going to tuck the cable. And then we're going to slide it in. Very, very satisfying. Holding the weight, yada, yada, yada. Okay. So now, oh, maybe it wasn't as easy as I thought. <laughs> that JST cable needs some help. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm going to try. I'm actually going to. Can I swap it now? I kind of want to use the one with the heat shrink. That way I can. Can I do that? Yeah, we can. Is that my boy Lil Stacks? Yo, doesn't look like it's in. It didn't feel like it was in either. Okay, now it's in. What up, Kevin? Yo, tier one for nine months. Dude, are you coming over tomorrow? This board looks great. I would agree. Cool. That wasn't too bad. Although, I feel like if I had to use this one without the heat shrink, that would have been uh, kind of a pain in my butt. I bought a Ness and I don't own a single artisan. You could put novelties in it. 22 minutes of, until that magical four hour mark. I'm telling you guys, I have an internal clock. Oof. Oof. My nest has been empty and it's just depressing because I don't own any? Bro, cruise screws? You screws? <laughs> this is gonna sound amazing, I'm smelling it. Yo. Yeah, you can definitely put screws in it. All right, let's take a look here now that we have it assembled. Dude, these, these sides are so nice. So nice. I tried doing the Teja, but then my actual screw chase had no use. You could put, you could put Kaze badges in it. Super nice. Dude, this weight though. All right, let's get some caps on this one. Uh, let's double check that no, we're not getting any like, any weird shorting or anything like that. Oh. I think it might be the JST cable. Damn it. I knew I, knew I should have tossed, there was, a, there was a JST cable that didn't work last time and I think that was the one. Frick. I, 
think that was the JST cable I tried using with, uh, what was the last board I built? The IU. Yes, it was the IU. Crap. All right, we're going to have to... Uh, let me just make sure that this is... That it is indeed the JST cable. And it's not like shorting somewhere. Yeah, it was a JST cable. Okay. All right, this one, bad. How do I know not to? Trash. Okay. Now we gotta go back to uh, using this one again. <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, let's see. I'm gonna try doing it this way. I might, I might have to just grab some electrical tape, but I'm trying not to. No, I'm gonna grab some electrical tape, hang on. tape half my boards just easier yeah I was trying to do without it but uh I'm like super OCD about my cable so we're gonna put two on here. the cable so it's easier to route this guy this reminds me of when i had to build the jelly same issues yo now yeah, this is officially makers and crafting ladies and gentlemen all right this should be a little easier take it one step further they do they do without looking while they read chat it's insane for what yo what's up popcorn look wise do you prefer the derivative or the moment personally i like the i like the derivative more i would say New money, get money. Is it still? I 
I think I think this JST cable is just too long. Oh, got it. Okay. Oof. That too much fingerprints, brah. Yo, I agree. But it does wipe off pretty easily. I guide the wire from the other end from the weight side. Nope, it's still not. Damn it. I thought I had it. Yo, what's up, HP Desk Jet? This is one beautiful board. What keycaps are we topping this off with? OG die subs. If I had a short shift for my OG die subs, I would probably do that. Yo, what up, Gerald? Yo, I think this JST is just too long. Yeah, dude, I think this JST is too long. Cause it's going down fine. It's just. Hang on, let me concentrate for two seconds. Trying to stuff it in the hole. Yo, okay, we did it. We did it. We did it. Whew. Now I go to bed, wake up early tomorrow, and I have to listen to sound test later. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Tie a knot on the dotted board. Yes, we did it. Basically, what I did was I, I stuffed the end of the cable um, into. Let me clean this real quick so it's not hideous. Um, in between the PCB and the case instead of in between the case and the weight. Cool. Professional hole stuffer. Okay, bud. I do it all the time. A lot of the time my JSTs are too long. That back so slick, dude. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful angel. Let's go. So nice, so nice. Okay, time for caps. You know what I wanted to do? I wanted to like start doing polls for caps because I think that would be pretty cool, but it's probably a little bit late in the game for that. So what looks good on silver? Olivia looks nice on silver. Bulls, can you check if the flex on the QWER area is the same as the OP area? Wondering if I messed the JST routing on mine. Yeah, it looks the same. Honestly, I don't think the weight would seat properly if your JST wasn't uh, fully seated. Because, um, as you can see on mine, it was basically like cockeyed. Striker? Oof, I don't have striker. I mean, we could do beige, but... Anything beige? Hander beige? Blue or red? I do have, uh... I, don't, I wish I had muted. I used to have muted. Uh, let me look here. I'll, I'll give you guys some options. Give me a sec.
Okay, so like readily available, I have Moto Light, Bushido, and Moto. If you guys aren't satisfied with either of those, I can I can go grab some more. I don't have Wob, sadly. Although it would look good. Nuke Data. Ooh, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. All right, we're back. I, I think I'm gonna make the executive decision here and use a keycap set that I haven't used in a long time. Oh, 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 oh. Dude, I dropped one of these the other day and keycaps went everywhere and I was real sad. All right, what do you guys think about some Vok? I rock Moto Light with alt accents on mine. I think Vok would look sick. I think it would look sick. I think we're gonna rock Vok. So it's currently on a canoe. <laughs> look at that. When's the last time you saw a canoe? <laughs> so we're just gonna transfer it. We're gonna transfer it and I'm gonna grab the extras from here. Do you guys want to see some crazy patina? You guys want to see some crazy patina? Have you ever seen a canoe with a with a brass weight? Look at that. That is some patina. That is some patina. Pretty sick, right? This is patina done right. So this one's actually got Vok with, with a camping enter and a Kipora. Got a Gengar over here as well. This one's built with Telios. To be honest, this canoe sounds so nice. This is a board that I think sounded completely different when we put the brass weight in. When the aluminum one was in, it sounded okay. When we added the brass, it was at a completely different board. All right, let's swap these over. Poutine, you say? <laughs> Wait, isn't that like French, a French swear word? Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> It's not. Poutine is a dish. Pouton, that's what it is. Not poutine. No, that's French fries with gravy and dude, that sounds so good. French fries with gravy? Yes, it's a very, very bad word. <laughs> I know this, I know this. Cheese curds? I don't know if I've ever had cheese curds. Yo, we gotta, we gotta protest, 
We gotta protest the Heine to rerun Valk. Honestly, this is a this is a majorly slept on set. I remember when Valk ran. I remember when Valk ran. It was in stock on Novel Keys for so long after the GB. And it was so cheap too. <laughs> yes, lols, use your influence. <laughs> Dude, you know what's funny? You know what's funny? I, uh, because I do have like a bunch of you guys like message me uh, in DMs or on Discord and stuff saying that you bought items that I basically told you about. <laughs> and I was joking. I was like, wait, does that as like as cheesy as it sounds, does that make me an influence? Am I an influencer? I don't know if I want to be an influencer, but I think I'm an influencer. Oh, yo. This sound profile, completely different than derivative. Completely different than the derivative. But it's so nice. Okay. All right. You guys ever seen one of these? We gotta get the uh, the FN here. All right. Sorry, canoe. Yo, canoe with Telios. This was the OG build. This was you. You made it when you had a canoe with Telios. <laughs> All right. Oh yes, the OG bandolier. Shout out to my boy. Shout out to my boy Heine X Novel Keys underscore. Look at the color match switches with the canoe legendary. Oh right. Never forget the dot XYZ. <laughs> Man, I miss those trays. Dude, I miss them, but like literally. I this always happened to me. This this shit always happened to me where they like never went in the hole again like and they became like freaking like spiders All right uh 7u Dude, this purple is so rich in person. It's so rich. It's really hard to show you guys over stream, but it's very rich. Um, apologies for my mod pipes, but this is a 60, so we want some even distribution on the right side there. GMK are working on an updated packaging solution. Oh, dude, uh, that that is music to my ears. Absolutely music to my ears. I think they really goofed up with the more, more recent packaging. I love the new bandoliers. I love the new bandoliers. I hate the trays. Look at this beauty. Oof. I'm so glad we went with Vok. Give it a little clean here. Don't be excited, too excited, Ryan. They might make it worse. Dude, that's not possible. Holy gazoinkies, dude. I see some yellows. Some yellows? What do you mean some yellows? What are those? What are yellows? I just tried to delete without the keyboard plugged in. I just bought some Carhartt whip pants. Reminds me of your love for them. Yo, Carhartt is sick.
You've influenced many purchases for sure. <laughs> All right, let's take a look here. Justin, what do you think of my cap selection? Is it just me or does the one look whiter than the other caps? <laughs> does it? It kind of does, like slightly. Should I send it back? Should I take it back? Looks a bitchin'. <laughs> Yo. Dude, look at that angle right there. Dude, crazy. How much does it weigh? Let's take a look. It's, dude, it's pretty heavy actually for a 60. 1700 grams, three pounds, 12 ounces. So it weighs exactly, uh, About two and a half nerd, no. <laughs> I was close. All right. Here we are. Super nice. I like the touch of color Vok gives. Nice choice. Yo, thank you. I feel like Vok, I had, I want to say I had Vok on my silver dolphin at one point and it looked pretty fire. Vok and Olive have been my two favorite scents since I got into the hobby. They are both so underrated. Mine are both shine to hell too. Dude, I remember Olive was in stock on Novel Keys forever too. Interesting how the left and right bezels are that shape. Yeah, so what I was saying before. Oh, I'll show you guys because I have both of them here. So Justin designed both of these boards. Um, and immediately I, I noticed that on the derivative, you have a cherry lip where it goes thick cherry lip to thin back to thick again, right? You guys look here. So it goes thick, thin, thick again, right? That's on the front lip. And if you take a look at the moment, same deal, but on the side, it goes thick to thin, nothing on the front. Right, um, actually, I think the moment might be heavier than the derivative. Seventeen hundred grams. Yeah, quite a bit heavier, actually. Right. What's up, Gerald? Hey, uh, hey, Gerald, um, I think, I think I might send this back with a different board inside. Is that okay? Which one better typing feel? We will find out. I'm going to put this up here. We'll find out. I like the moment more personally. Wow. Send the canoe, <laughs> send the, send the key capless canoe. All right, so, oh wait, Justin, were you here when I did my derivative typing test? I'm gonna pause the music here. Dude, this is gonna sound fire. Whew. This is like the epitome of a perfect cherry clack. Not too high pitched, not too bassy. It's 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 really it's really nice. All right, I'll show you guys the mods real quick. Here we go.
Yo. Dude, that space bar though. Okay, so before we do the timing test, we do have the moment by Justin. We ended up using the aluminum plate. We use cherry retool blacks, pretty smooth ones. You guys will be able to hear how smooth they are. There won't be too much scratch. Um, this is just normal top mount. Sorry, this is not top mount. What am I thinking? The derivative was top mounted before. Now it's O-ring. The moment is gonna be, um, I mean, if you wanna call it like pin mounted, Justin, is that what you call it? It's very similar to the profit, right? Where there's gaskets on the bottom, um, only a couple on the top. We can, I'll definitely do a, I'll do a derivative sound test as well after the moment. Uh, pleasantly surprised. I usually think plastic sounds safer, but I enjoy this sound. Dude, I love the sound. I'm very picky with cherry on aluminum. And this is, this is the good, the good type. So, all right. So I'm going to call this pin mount unless Justin has like a better term for it, but, uh, or post mount, right? All right, here we go. I call it half gasket. There you go. Half gasket mount. Oof. Oof. Dude, sounds so good, but I goofed it up big time at the end there. We still almost do my raw, but the, oof, the words permit. Dude, how does this sound? This is like, this is like, when you guys ask me like, what's, what's like a good clack? This is a good clack. It's not, it's not too high pitched. It's not hollow. It's not hollow. Moment of truth. Yo. I would love to hear some scratchy MX blacks in this. It would add a little bit of character too, for sure, for sure. All right, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do one more typing test on the moment, and then we can compare it to the derivative. They are completely different sounding, but both very very nice. All right, here we go. Dude, super consistent on that one. Wow, super nice. Just in time for the sound. Just in time for the sound test. What's up, Heidi Lau? Dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to Heidi Lau this weekend. You better give me a discount. All right, so take that. Remember it. I'm gonna quickly swap it out. So now we have derivative with um, aluminum plate. So both aluminum plates. We had cherry blacks in the moment. We have popus in the uh, derivative. Derivative is mounted currently with an O-ring. Do you like how the Matrix 3.0 looks? I do. I do. All right. Here we go.
What do you guys think? Should I do one more? We'll do one more. We'll do one more. Oof. Dude, they're so different. They're so different. I hate when Monkey Pipe does that like phantom typing thing. It's it's the test before your test. Wow, my raw was 140 on that one. All right, so what do we got? Uh, <laughs> robot finger? <laughs> Moment sounds more dynamic. I have changed my pants at least five times over this entire stream. Yo, moments greater than derivative for me. I hate, I hate when monkey, uh, blah, blah. I like the moment more. Can we go back to the moment for a moment? <laughs> I'm regretting not joining the moment raffle. Looks wise, derivative is greater than moment. Sound wise, moment is greater than derivative. Then again, I'm a cherry on Alu Simp. If you are a cherry on Alu Simp, this is the epitome of how that should sound, in my opinion. It's exactly how cherry on Alu should sound. Maybe I'll send you my derivative MX Blacks build to throw in next time I send something. That would be great. Yeah, I, I mean, I honestly, I'm I'm a huge fan of this build, but it would also be very interesting to see like aluminum or um, blacks on like a half plate. Make an account. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I prefer the look and sound of the moment. Wow. Justin setting the world record only destroy the record himself a few months later. Yo. It's mineral time after this. It sure is. Cherry on alu derivative. Let me swap these real quick. Dude, this just feels very well balanced too. Oh. Definitely popular. Is definitely popular. Huh. Aluminum full plate. Okay. So that's my exact same build that I have aluminum full plate o-ring mount, but it is cherry blacks instead of popus. That that would be very interesting to compare. It would be very interesting to compare. Um, if we had that, if we had the exact same build in both boards. Damn moment barely won. So is moment now the missing top three board you mentioned? I need I I need to have at least like a week with it to really think if it's in a top three or not. And like this sounds, this is super nice. This really is super nice. What about the typing feel? It types, it feels really nice too. It's very like, I would say it's got a, it's, it's very nice feedback. Thank you for the build, Ryan. Yo, thank you for letting me build it, Justin. What key cap set is that? This is GMK Violet on Cream, or often called Vok. Looks at the moment are best, but sound and feel derivative win. Wow, dude, I'm honestly shook. I'm pretty surprised that I, I, I personally, I personally like the looks of the derivative more, but it seems like a lot of you guys like the looks of the moment more. This might sound weird, but I like the way moment looks on the desk from far away. It does, it does have a very nice desk presence from far away. <laughs> I get what you're saying. <laughs> 
Only answer is to get both sneak up on a on, on it like a predator. <laughs> Yo. All right. So that is done. Thank you, Justin, for uh, letting me build this fantastic board. Super stoked on it. Um, I'll show you guys one more look here. I think the soda trifle in the moment is very unique, but I do like the varied front lip on the derivative quite a bit. So what is, oh yeah, well, lastly, Justin, can you, um, is there, there is a, uh, let me give, give you guys a quick link here. Um, this is going to be ran in, as a group buy. Um, dude, super nice. Here is the interest check that's on uh, Geek Hack currently. I do like that kind of like blue gray, like warm gray colored one as well. Yo, yo, you're still streaming? I am. Dude, it's four hours, 20 minutes. As long as I keep it under 430, it's an average stream. Get out the binoculars. Lols, how does your floor look after stream? I've seen so many things thrown down there. Dude, it's so bad. It's really bad. I have shit. That's the that's one of the that's one of my least favorite things about streaming is like I get up and it, it no joke, it takes me like half an hour to clean up all the crap that's on my floor after streaming. Um conclusion the moment versus the derivative. Which one would you prefer then? Personally, I think I like the derivative more. But it's like so close. It's 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 really a preference thing. It really both like you literally, I could not see someone buying either board and like not being stoked on life, right? It's really a preference thing. I personally like the cherry lip on the front of the derivative more than the moment on the sides. I think that's what it is for me. Um, but it's it all is purely preference. Derivative is running after the moment, right? So, so the cloud line already ran. The moment is going to run, I believe, what, in a month or two? Um, and then the derivative is um, no no exact date yet, but we would assume sometime after moment, right? I've never typed on a new. I've been interested by it, though. Thank you for the fire stream, like always, Ryan. Yo, too kind, too kind. It's more like moment is running and I'm not exactly... I'm not sure exactly when derivative would come. Yep, 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 yep. I would just get both. Yeah, I mean, you, you could get both. In my opinion, in my opinion, you could get both these boards and it would be justified because they type and sound so differently. And the mounting is completely different as well. If this was two top mount boards, then, then that would be really tough to choose. If I have funds, maybe I can send you my new sometime in the summer. Yo, that'd be cool. What are your favorite keyboards overall? Dude. I'm gonna have to make a list. I'm gonna make a list. But the moment and the derivative are definitely up there. So, all right. I think favorite Justin board, derivative for me, derivative. That's quality enablement right there. <laughs> um, I I might I might change that when my cloud line comes. I don't know. I don't know. You scam the mineral redeem. I know I did, huh? Okay, I'll make you guys a bet. We're gonna do the Nest giveaway, and while I'm waiting for people to join, I'll show you some quick minerals. How about that? I'm building a black emery with G You got an emery, nice. I didn't know those ran already. Is Koob even here? <laughs> so I think Avo redeemed one as well. Hang on one sec. I think I've shown you guys this one already. I think I've shown you this one already, but uh, I'll show you again real quick. Yo, what's up, hobo? <laughs> I redeemed Alk? I took a shot of soju. What up, hobo? Thank you for the tier one for 12 months. So this is a smoky quartz, right? Smoked PC. We have a smoky quartz here. Um, this one is super special uh, because there are two very significant um, kind of rare qualities with it, right? Yo, what up, Dean? G'day, mate. What's up, dude? So, um, uh, most people look at this and they'd be like, oh, that's a, uh, that's a smoky quartz. Cool. Nice find. But, this one's got two things. One being rainbowing. It's called rainbowing, right? Do you guys see the rainbowing going on right here? 
It's got that like rainbow flash. That is not that is not apparent in all smoky quartz. So that's pretty rare to have that. Right? So it's got that. And then the other thing, it's it's super hard to show you guys. Um, it's really easy to see it in person, but it's called what's called is um we you have seen this one before, but uh I'm sure we have more people in chat. Um, it's called an anhydro, meaning it has a water gas bubble trapped inside of it. Um, let me see if I can show you guys. So, do you see that bubble right there? You can see it. Do you see it moving inside? It's right there. So that water, that water actually got trapped during the formation of this crystal. So that water is who knows how old. Kind of cool. So yeah, this is a smoky quartz with a with a rainbowing going on and an anhydro. Who knows? If we crack this thing open and drink the water, we might get some superpowers. <laughs> Get some dinosaur DNA in there. <laughs> Crack it open and unleash some super virus. Could be. I have a water bubble trapped inside of me and it's moving. Bro, you should hit the bathroom. <laughs> Bet it tastes better than your canned water. Dude. All right. Let's see here. So we're going to be giving away um, the uh, sample blue nerd nest tonight. Um... This is kind of like something I wanted to give away. I really appreciated you guys' support um, on the Nest Drop. It was kind of insane how quickly they sold out. And uh, we are going to be trying to do monthly drops, right? So I hope everyone that wants a Nest at some point will be able to get one. This, uh, giving away to Anoli, <laughs> this is a, um, we only have I think five or six of these blue ones. It was a, um, we don't have many, so pretty limited. You make rocks super interesting. Yo, rocks are super interesting. Um, so, uh, last thing I'll say on this, um, this is obviously going to be shipped out. Um, <laughs> I have Manolis right here, actually. I already boxed Manolis, so this is the one I'll be giving away. Uh, it comes in the Nerd Nest box, sealed as well. Um, you will get a Kaze sticker as well as a QC card with it. And uh, I think we're going to do, um, Raz, let's put, uh, I think, to to reward my stream, um, I think we're going to do three-month follower only on this one. But let me, let me make the, uh, let me make the uh, keyword real quick here. All right. Keyword is going to be thanks chat. There we go. With that crazy packaging, I would think it's a smartwatch. Yo. Yeah, we're super happy with the packaging. All right. Three, two, and one. Joy Boy 89 been following since October of 2020. Dude, that was like a couple months after I started streaming. Do you claim your prize? <laughs> I packaged it. Sandy did uh Sandy put these on as well as did the QC cards. I claim, yo, dude, you scared me for a second there. All right, Joy Boy, if you could, if you could DM me or hit me up on Twitch, um, I will get this shipped out to you. Uh, congrats on that. This blue honestly looks so insane in person. My man. Thanks for 
Thanks for being a cool lad. Yo, what's up, Raj? Thanks for being a cool lad. No freaking you. No you. You gotta run that? I think so. I think so. Um, I did have one thing I wanted to ask you guys. Um, Raz, if you could do one last poll, and I'm very curious, and hopefully you guys answer uh, answer truthfully on this one. Um, could you put up E white or silver? Um, if you had to choose one color nest to get, would it be E white or silver? If we could do that as a as a um, as a poll, that will probably uh, influence the next order. And this is my version of an interest check. <laughs> 430 we did it there we go which nerd nest would you prefer if you guys could answer that it will help me with my next order um and i'll, I'll make sure to uh, order accordingly that means this is an above average stream now 11 out of 10 yo and i think dude i think that's it i think that's all we got for tonight I could, you know, in, in the spirit, in the spirit of Justin, I could show you guys my Cloudline prototype. Follower mode off, by the way. Okay, perfect. Yo, later, Obi Wan. Uh, when will Kaze be a monthly drop, dude? I wish, I wish. Wow, see, dude, I thought E White would have been more popular. Silver's more popular. You guys dig the silver, huh? What size is a nerd nest? Pockets? <laughs> what? <laughs> it could fit in your pocket. Could definitely fit in your pocket. I don't know the exact dimensions, but it's a it's approximately um, three keycaps by four keycaps. A little bit bigger than that. <laughs> Anno over e coat. Okay. All right. Let me show you the uh, while we're waiting on that poll. I have the uh, the third trifecta here, which is the cloud line. Ooh, cloud line would actually look pretty good with this nest. So we do have the cloud line here. Um, this is a prototype cloud line, so it's quite a bit quite a bit different. Yo, Effie, I got I got this green one here. This is like a radioactive green though. Or Effie, rather. So this is a. Um, there's a lot different on this um, on this cloud line than the than the uh, one that's coming out. But uh, I'm gonna build this at some point. I'm waiting on a PCB. It takes a kind of a special PCB. I need an H88 with a JST. But show you guys the side profile on this one, dude. This thing is so classy. That Kaze cap is so nice, dude. We got some patina on this weight too. Look at that. We have some patina going on. Dude, but the best part about this board is just knowing that the inside of this thing has those amazing engravings. I have been passing on every TKL waiting for Kaze, yo. Only 10 more months to wait for my dude. I ordered a I ordered a burgundy one or the red one So I am waiting on the red one still but I have a, at least I have the proto to uh, to keep me occupied until then Does running the nest help you prototype anno colors for Kaze? Um, the 
kind of. It kind of does. It gives us a, a better understanding of, of how co certain colors would turn out. I would say so. PC Kaze is a dream. It's a dream that will come true. They will be in stock um, towards the end of the year, I would say. Silver one. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, all right, we'll, we'll get the... Uh, We'll get the third one out here. So this is the uh, the Justin special, the Justin special. And then uh, if that was not enough, if that was not enough for all of you guys that came came late to class, I will show you the uh, the Gaff nine ten one last time. Alrighty, on that note, I think it's time to uh, oh to find someone oh to raid oh the TGR backplate Toblerone is revolutionary a hundred percent. It's bedtime, Ryan. It sure is. Yo, thank you for the stream as well, Justin. I appreciate you. Can you show us the booty of the moment again? I'll show you it for one moment. Oh my God, fingerprints. Okay, sniff it. it. Smells like a keyboard. Bye, Mr. Ryan. Have a good weekend. Yo, Avo, you have a good weekend too. All right, who is on right now? Dude, is no one building a keyboard right now? Thick Thack Thock. I think we raided uh, Gjorin last time. Ooh. Okay. Let's hit up Thick Thack Thock. Let's get a raid going on Thick Thack Thock. Thucker and Thuckatath. All right. Anyways, I appreciate you all as always. Um, I am going to either be building a, a Zeus or a gasket. I don't know. I haven't seen anyone build a gasket yet. Maybe people have, and I've just been out of it. But um, I am going to be building a gasket, I think, next. So I'm pretty excited for that. Another another Winkyless 60%. Um, I'm going to try and do that one maybe on Sunday. So I'll give you guys a heads up. Um, I will also let you guys know when the, when the next drop will be for the nest. So definitely uh, stay Stay in touch for that and uh, enjoy your weekend. Yeah? All right, Raz. Freaking take him away.